There we go. Hello, hello. Uh oh. Is the chat not showing? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Uh, I think my. Oh, there's one. Okay, I guess it just. Just I thought it would pop up. You know. <laughs> Thank you for the Lisa, but you want to talk about the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the alerts in a sec. <laughs> but hello, hello. Thank you very much for the resub. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and welcome in. <laughs> thank you for the 10 biddies. Um, so I, I was able to uh, do... Okay, let me, let me land first. I feel like I have 10 things. Ten thi oh, oh, wait. Zero, three? <laughs> Ouch. Oh, no. Why did it do that? What is that? What was that that just popped up? <laughs> What's on the screen right now? <laughs> What's going on? Why is why is Dreamer behind the chat? <laughs> what is happening? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Wait, I'm gonna figure something out. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, so I transferred my I tr <laughs> Hello, everybody. I hope you all are doing well. Today started out strong, I guess. Uh, I transferred my... I transferred my alerts over to Twitch alerts. Because Twitch now... Originally, like, when I started streaming, Twitch didn't have its own, like, integrated alerts options. And so I, I started using Stream Elements, which was a common one to use. And uh, that's how I like I'd make the alerts and stuff that popped up. Um, but recently, within the last few months, Twitch rolled out their own alerts thing. And I finally got around to messing around with it today. And so I did set it up. Uh, apparently, there's something I think that was triggered. Uh, uh Oh, am I low? I don't know. Also, let me it might be the music's too loud. I can turn on the music. Also, I saw the question about the, the music, too. Um, it's Sims Lo-Fi. Fine for you. Okay. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so I did try and set up Twitch alerts, which is fun because there's some different, like, um, I don't know if I said thank you, Dreamy, for the biddies, but there's different biddies, um, biddy alerts that pop up. Um, there's also, I was also able to upload bit badges. Um, so those who have, those who have donated um, or like given a certain amount of bits, which the smallest number is one bit. So anybody who's given at least one bit should have a badge that they can choose from. I think you I don't know exactly how you choose it. I think you go from your name and, or you can look at your settings or something. But there should be some different for now. I, I, I'm going to find some better ones to put in there for now. I just put some kind of placeholder ones, but maybe the placeholders will become the the favorites. <laughs> but so. There's those. There's also, um, I also updated the sub badges where I didn't have a six month sub badge. So now there's a six month one. So like Crystal Beth has the six month one. It's like a, a gradient purpley spaceship now. Um, and so that should, there's that going on. Um, see, look at that. What is that? So it's a, so it's when somebody gives. What the hell is that? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Uh, let me let me go. Let me let's let's go on an adventure to the settings. <laughs> like, why is there a box of balls on my screen? <laughs> why is there a box of balls on my screen? <laughs> what is happening? Uh, edit alerts. Let's see. Channel points. Okay, here we go. Oh, I found it. Okay. Disable. There we go. That should do it. Yep, that was what it was. <laughs> That's what it was. Okay. I think I solved the problem. I think I solved the problem. Also, hi, Boron Elements. And hi, Miss Player. Are there any more dormies to make? No. I didn't. I don't think I got a chance to download yours, Miss Player. But we're just going to um, do decoration today. We're going to deco a, a dorm. So that'll be fun. Um, <laughs> non-consensual ball boxes for us. Ball of nuts. Box of nuts, not a ball of nuts. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the other, the other thing, um, that I did was, 
I was able to, with the Twitch alert things, it was like easier to do like variations, easier for me to like figure it out. So there's a, for like prime subscriptions, there's a separate, there's a different pop up than like other subs. So I did a, a custom song and uh, like I was able to use a different sound and a little bit different like video that plays. It's like it's still Sandy because the, the one for the sub that pops up is Sandy. I think t dancing with the mop that that like aspiration failure thing. And then um, the the prime one is now her like fighting with a, with the paper cup where they scream at the paper cup and they slap it. It was a I think I might have had it on something else, too. But anyway, so there might be some goofiness with the alerts if. I screwed it up. <laughs> also, the the bid alerts have a few variations that randomly pop up. One makes the burglar noise, one makes the baby noise, and one makes the falling out of love noise. So it's almost like a little bit of a a, a jump scare. But you don't know which one's gonna pop up when you redeem it. I don't. I don't think you can choose. There's that going on. Um. Yeah. Let me close this. I get. But yeah. <laughs> Bit testing. Why, oh, thank you. Thank you for the bit testing. Bit testing. Bit testing. Oh, that was the other thing. I also, with each variation that pops up, I chose a different TTS t t text to speech voice. So there's a different random voice that speaks instead of just Brian. <laughs> there's three different ones that pop up. That one was actually Welsh. Yeah. That guy, I, I don't know how to say his name. For, I think it's Garant, Garant or something. He was Welsh. I was like, Dreamer will like this. Dreamer's Welsh. <laughs> I'll put the Welsh guy in. <laughs> the Welsh. <laughs> Brian and Friends. Yeah. Then I think I did one who's Australian. And then one that might be American, I think. <laughs> I think we got, we got a, or, yeah. And I think Brian and still announces the sub messages, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I've been with messing around with stuff. Um, I'm working on, I realize I don't have, there's also supposed to be emotes that you can unlock for donating biddies. And I don't have any of those in there, so I need to do that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Trips over the welcome to Calic and your sign. Oh no, my bits. Oh no, my bits. <laughs> oh no, my bits. <laughs> Thank you, Dreamy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Look, yeah, that one. I, now I'm worried that it's only gonna do that one. What? Like it should randomly choose a variation. Uh, maybe I did something wrong, <laughs> but that's okay. I guess we're, we'll 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 be chilling with Garant today. <laughs> Garant. He's so Welsh. <laughs> I like it. I think that means we need a Vidkin baby. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Well, we got a lot of Vidkin uh professors. Maybe we'll, maybe one day there'll be a Vidkin Professor baby in Calicundia. You say it might only be that voice like it's a bad thing. That's that's true. It's not a bad thing. But I but I wanted the variations. But maybe they'll pop up. There's only three of them, so it's, I guess it's a, maybe a higher chance of getting the same one twice. Well, yeah. So I think that was mainly what I did. I I was just messing around with all kinds of stuff. I yeah, I got the new badges and all of that stuff. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else, but yeah, I hope y'all are doing well. Hi, Laura Lou. It's Calicundia time. Yeah, we're gonna be doing. It's probably gonna be. I don't know how uh chaotic today's gonna be simply because we are um we are gonna be decorating. So that'll be kind. Of, it'll be kind of like a cozy Calicundia, which I think is a little rare. Usually, Calicundia is unhinged, but so we've got we've got cozy Calicundia happening. He has more of a Welsh Welsh accent than me, which shouldn't be possible. Uh oh, are you also a Welsh, a Welshy, a Welsh, Welsh, Welsh? I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I was gonna plug my speaker in, but it takes micro USB instead of USB C. That's annoying. Cozy Cundia, Cozy Cundia. <laughs> a rare Cozy Calicundia stream. I know. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I I was thinking, I'm like, should I have like music to be playing, but. I mean, we can kind of just listen. To, if we get bored of the build by music, which I I rarely do, I don't know about y'all. I like the build by music. I can listen to it a hundred times over. Uh, I also have some of the like the Sims One build by put into my folder, so that should play too. But I'm like, I think we'll mostly just listen to that. But I could also, 
uh, could also uh, pull up like a lo-fi thing like like we're listening to right now. <laughs> if you can't tell, I don't have USB-C anymore. Uh-oh. That's a pain. I hate that. I hate it when I bought a pair of, um, I bought a, or like earbuds recently that I intended to be able to plug into this microphone. And I was like, okay, earbuds, fine. I just got a basic, excuse me, a basic pair. Um, and I opened up the box and it was the types that stick into the, to the, to the, to your phone. I was like, <laughs> my knaps are trembling in excitement for this stream. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe has trembling nuts. Garant has trembling nuts. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling it's playing the same one over here. Let me open up my alert. I still have the alerts open. Let's see. Uh, but thank you for the biddies as well. <laughs> Let's see. Cheering. Uh, at least one bit cheered. Cheering of any amount. All settings. Cheered at least one bit. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. There doesn't seem to be a setting where I can be, like, randomized. I'm supposed to just grab a random one. Here, we're gonna try something. I swapped it around. Hmm. I guess I could also, I could always set them at different amounts, and so a different amount will give you a certain thing, I guess. The Sims 3 has the worst music. Interesting. I guess... I always, when I think of Sims 3 music, I think of like, sorry, my nose is itchy. My nose nostril. Uh, whenever I think of Sims 3 music, I just think of hearing it on a random commercial. That's all I can think of. <laughs> but yeah, also Sims 1, I love Sims 1 built by it very much. Very good. Um, I've heard Sims 3 music on TV shows and stuff, though, which is strange. Yeah, I've said it before. I, I saw it on, um, I saw it on. Oh, what is it? The the Drag Race, RuPaul's Drag Race one time. It was the background music on a dr one of their competitions, uh, like one of their scenes on there. <laughs> I was like, this is weird. <laughs> this is a weird experience. Like on Dance Moms, the kids dance to one song. <laughs> that's so weird. I started liking the Sims 3 music more after The Sims 4 came out. I guess that's a good point. I might have to wipe my nose really quick. One sec. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the Sims 8 has the best music. Oh. You're in the f Dream is in the future. Dream is living in the future. Is that wait, is that wait, is the Sims 8 when you have the Sims 4 open on two computers at the same time? <laughs> is that when you're playing the Sims 4 twice at the same time? Is that the Sims 8 or when you have the si the Sims 2 open on like a bunch of computers at the same time. Four different ones. <laughs> yeah, I like Sims 2. I love, I think 1 and 2 are my favorites for music. Why is it that when someone asks what I want for Christmas, everything I've ever wanted goes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a terrible time with, I don't like Christmas because I don't like getting gifts. But. Lately, I've been I've been giving in to it. I've been like, you know what? Fine. You want to buy me something? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Based on the time of pack releases, we will get a Sims 8 and 30, 40. Yeah, for real. Especially one that goes bop, 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 I get. I, I just, there's the one that's bop, 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 The Sims life. Uh, wait. Where was the... Oh, no, it's on the microchip that's implanted in our brain. It's like VR. Oh, God, that's horrific. <laughs> That'd be scary. Just living with The Sims all the time. That'd be scary. I always ask for candy candles if I want to get someone a cheap option. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, Playing Sims 4 on two PCs, so every time there's a bad simulation like the game can still go on. There you go. <laughs> now, that would be... A, playing the same save... On two different computers, like even with The Sims Two, would have been fascinating. Would be kind of fun, like like starting the exact same save at the exact same point, and like playing them side by side and seeing where they end up is kind of a fun concept. 
I was asked for. Oh wait, I already read that. <laughs> oh, uh, I've been watching some speed builds for The Sims 2 to help me, um, get more in the mood to decorate and build. I have so much on my list to do today. Maybe today is the day. <laughs> maybe, maybe. That would, yeah. I don't know. It would be interesting. <laughs> New Sims challenge, yeah. I've been trying to decide on a challenge I want to do. Because I am at a point where I definitely, it's, it, when I stopped doing, when I stopped doing Let's Plays or, like, took a break, like, hi hiatus from Let's Plays, I kind of, like, was like, I can do more informational videos and, like, try and put one out each week. And it was like, that just did not work out. <laughs> I've just not been able to do an informational video every week or even every other week. I think originally I thought every other week and even that. Um, and I don't know. I, I, I like put out a Let's Play video like just that's like a given. So I'm like trying to figure out what I want to do for a challenge. Because um, like I said, I'm kind of interested in do, trying like a challenge Let's Play. And um, and then I don't know. I think part of me also would love to find a way to also continue playing Strange View. I regret adding Veronaville to my Strange View though a little bit, even though it was kind of neat. But maybe I also just need to not think about it that hard and just play the silly little video game. <laughs> you know, I am a Sim. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Also, thank you for the lurk, comrade. Uh, gotta go switch my laundry over. Oh, you saw your, my Notion vid and follow along. Well, that's good. I'm glad that it's helpful. Um, hi, Booth. Uh, boo. <laughs> Bex? Bex? I usually call you Bex. My, my brain saw Boo first. <laughs> but thank you for the lurk. <laughs> Sorry, my Sim English translator broke. <laughs> strange view. Strange view. Yeah, I think I need to... I don't know. I need to do something to get myself interested in strange view again. And maybe it was just taking a break from it. Like I said, I've also always thought about how I'd love to have a hood that, like, I'm a few rounds in, and then I just, like, let some zombies go loose. <laughs> let some zombies go loose in there. And then try and play amongst with the zombies running loose. Um, new nickname for Bex just dropped. <laughs> Listen, I have uh, today off, and I'm sick, so you get weird dreamy. Okay. <laughs> we get, we get, we get high on NyQuil dreamy today. In the in the office. Oh, I'm in the office today. My whole department is in, so I might not be able to chat a lot. Okay, no problem. That's okay. My real name is Becca. My grandma would call me Becca Boo or Boo as a kid. Oh, okay. That's where your name comes from. That's cute. That's cute. Uh, have you considered the poverty bachelorette or asylum challenges? Yeah, I've thought about. I got suggested a lot the I'm surrounded by idiots challenge, which I'm intrigued by. Um, I don't know about the Bachelorette one. Maybe the Bachelorette could be interesting, too. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I think I'm probably am going to end up going in that direction. But I'm still deciding, and it's possible that before I end up deciding on a challenge to do, I will get back into Strange View episodes just because I need the, the structure. Because, <laughs> like, it's very nice to have that structure of, like, okay, i got to make a video this week, and it's all i got to do is just, like, play the game. Um, not NyQuil, doctor prescribed cough syrup, I'll have, you know, ooh, fancy. Dreamy's on that high and, <laughs> Dreamy's tripping on that bougie NyQuil. Also, hi, wizard, how are you doing? <laughs> Never heard of the surrounded, yeah, I think, I guess, I think surrounded by idiots is, like, similar to the asylum challenge, which, I'm not crazy about the asylum challenge, just, I don't know, I'm not, I, there's something, I mean, the title of it, same with the poverty one, it just, like, feels weird to me, personally. But um, I think it's kind of similar where it's like you play one sim and you don't control the others and you have to like survive certain things or you have to like almost like a legacy. Yeah, this just feels weird. Like, I don't know. I mean, I think I think the challenge rules itself of like letting your sim um, trying to exist amongst uh, a bunch of other sims that you can't control is fun. But uh, yeah, I don't love the the titling or like the setup of it personally <laughs> dreamy is sipping lean <laughs> thanks medicaid for the medicine <laughs> me every morning when i take my stomach medicine <laughs> and every night when i take my stomach medicine oh boy i feel like there was something else i was gonna say and i forgot 
I give her the dose of olive oil. Did that work? Did that work? Is it behind? Did that? Uh oh. Oh no, it didn't work right. Wait. Where? I'm realizing that there's something. Oh, I have. Sorry, I have some things screwed up. Yeah, it's. I gotta. I gotta figure that one out. We're gonna. I'm gonna refund your one point. Um, that's why I made it so that people can redeem multiple ones. Here, let me let's let me try it and see if it shows. Oh wait, I gotta wait for the cooldown. I was gonna let it run. I feel like as the streamer, I should be allowed to to immediately do it whenever I want to. <laughs> Where are my chronic little bitches at? <laughs> Welcome back, comrade. Olive or I rot. <laughs> try it? Question mark. I rot? <laughs> Question mark. The worst thing is when you crawl into bed at night and look over and see you never took your morning pills. Uh-oh. I don't even have... I need to get one of those things that's like you organize the pills. Then I'll remember if I took it or not. I don't even remember. I don't ever remember. Okay, let me see if I can do it again. Are we gonna do, this is an honor of wizard's redemption. Did it show up? There we go. It's a cone baby. <laughs> it's a big giant cone baby. We're doing cone baby stuff. Doing cone baby stuff. Okay. Also, I think the music stopped by itself. Yes, it did. That's all right. Okie dokie. I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna try jump on over and actually play the video game. <laughs> Ironically, I'll be ready for service. <laughs> okay. Ugh, let me get myself situated. Today was another day where I literally hit the go live, like I hit the start stream button. And then I realized that I don't have my camera, my lights, or my microphone on. <laughs> and I just sat here and was like, oops, <laughs> I might need some of those. I've done that multiple times. I feel like, I think my light is not as bright as, bright as it usually is, but oh well. Um, do this. Do this. There we go. <laughs> I hope someone immediately romances Princess Squeakers. Yeah, we'll have to see. I don't, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to actually play the university for a minute. Um, because we don't have anybody that's ready to rock and roll. Our, our little bin is empty here. Here, let me... I don't know what... What sound level we'll want. We'll see how it goes. And so anyway, we're back here in good old Nutsford University. Knutsford University, oh, however you'd like to say it. <laughs> Hi, Gabby. I bet you could walk all day and shit like <laughs> that. Nice shoes. Um... All robots, Princess Squeakers. <laughs> I wish I had shoes like that. I'm so, oh, wait, I read that. I missed your uh, uni sims. Can you tell me about the ones you made? Yeah, so we made... We made a... How many did we make? Eight or nine? Um, we have Princess Squeakers, who is in a is, is a creation beyond human comprehension. Um, I don't remember any else. I gotta make them their wiki pages. Uh, I think there's... What else do we make? We'll have to help them remember them. Anyway, this is our dorm here. Let's jump in. I'll try and we'll try and remember the the creatures as we're Benadryl. That's right. There was Benadryl. Seven and oh yeah, seven and Cass and the Maria you made before. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we have Benadryl. What was it? Benadryl bumper car. <laughs> he's he's a nice guy. And then, um. Okay, that that was for a second. I wasn't sure. I couldn't remember what the eight was for, Wizard. I was like, why? Why is there an eight in chat? And I realized, duh. Oh yeah, Saddy Batty, Saddy Batty, Batty Saddy, um, Mariposa Boss Baby, <laughs> Maria Saddy Batty, Haggis Hornswoggle. <laughs> wasn't he a detective in that show? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, will she be the next Iris? Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see if she ends up falling in love with somebody or for some reason gets left, uh, gets out of university. Hi, Danny. Uh-oh, your card isn't working. What do you, what card? <laughs> oh, yeah, Hornswoggle Snot Waddle. <laughs> um, pee, 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 the carpets. <laughs> pee, 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 pee. Benadryl, yeah, Benadryl was inspired by by uh, Cumberbund. Oh, your debit card. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's annoying. Cumberbund, Cumberbund's cute. So yeah, so this is the this is the dorm. 
um, because this is obviously a university run by the one and only Vidkin Curious. I've made the dorm very Curious House inspired, but not exact. Hi, Cursive. How are you doing? <laughs> Gumber bun. Pee pee carpets. <laughs> pee pee carpets. I worked in the store on Tuesday, but not, to not today on the internet. That's annoying. That's annoying. Uh, yeah, so this, this is my, uh, this is where we're at. This is our shell that I put together for our first dorm. Um, I kind of wanted the unhinged, you know, layout that's not particularly perfect. <laughs> Hello, Fox Glove. Hello. Hopefully the, hopefully the baby ap appeared. Did a baby, hopefully a baby popped up. Oh, she's stretching. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to a tabletop game night at local queer sober bar. Interesting. That's interesting. That's cool. Um, which room can I have? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The, t the I have the tower with the col uh, the kaleidoscope. I almost just said collided. That'd be great. Yeah, we've got two telescopes. Hopefully, this routing won't be too obnoxious. I think it'll fit okay. We can move them around if we need to. Um, we have all of this space. I don't have a way for them to get up yet. Uh, yeah, the doors are glass, so that's the other thing I was gonna- I was looking around for recolors of the dorm doors to match, uh, to match, like, the rest of the style. And, um, I was like, <laughs> I, I, I found these, and I was like, I didn't, that's so stupid. I love it. <laughs> Uh oh, butt spot. I don't even want to know what butt spot did. I was like, this is first of all, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the same vibe as these, but it's like, it's literally, it's like, why even have a door at this point? But I love it. Like, it's the right kind of silly, like, like as if all of the dormies are rat, little lab rats under observation of Vidkin <laughs> and all of his his minions. <laughs> so that that's where we're at with those. So, and each one is uh, like a slightly colored glass. It's hard to tell sometimes with the rug, but like you can see this one's kind of pink. But yeah, so I made all of the dorm placement a little bit kooky, like weird shaped and stuff, because that just felt like the right vibe. So we've got some of these are kind of big, which they might be too big and I might need to adjust it. But yeah, so we've got like some dorm rooms here. Then I think this is our little bathroom zone here. I figure there could be, I don't know what, I don't know exactly how this is going to work. Um, but I, I, this is just what I made. <laughs> I don't know. If, I probably have to, I can either put one stall bathroom or like some toilets and just expect them to just deal with it. You know, but I did the little zigzag cause I, I just felt like it. Um, put carpets in, I could put carpet in the bathrooms. True. I've got the kooky, uh, this is actually like a concrete pattern, but yeah, so I've got the, that, and we just got lots of space. Um, again, I don't have, I haven't got a way to get up to the seal, up to the roof yet. We'll have to, we'll have to see. Um, also, yeah, I missed the, what did Butts Butts, Princess Squeakers, Maria French, Sadie Betty, Mara Bo Nut, Bo Nutby. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Butts Butt. I'm eating turkey sliders. Today was bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Turkey sliders sound yummy. Um... I feel like I missed a bunch. I'm kind of scrolling up because I was... Uh, yeah, so my room is the cactus in the back. <laughs> yeah, I like the... We got one cactus here. We got a couple of the Joshua trees. Um, and just some cacti around. So yeah, we're gonna have to see what we can do. We're gonna have to see. Um, I guess we'll... I just gotta figure out what the heck... I want to do here. I don't know what the easiest, maybe the easiest place to start is the bathrooms. And then we'll like go from there. Um, obviously we need like some of these hanging out in here. I don't know if it'll be like a routing. I guess I'll probably be able to put four. But yeah, I like these. I love these colored windows. These windows reminded me of, of the colored glass in these. So like we've got lots of colorful windows going on. So that'll be cool. Um, I also gotta make sure I put some lighting in these places. But, uh, thank you, Gabby. I can't make two colorful builds somehow. Ends up all simple. Yeah, I get that. I, I do, I think I do end up going that way too sometimes. Carpentry bathrooms, this dorm was built, <laughs> was, was built by a heathen. This dorm was built by Laszlo. 
I know. I well, this this isn't carpet, but we could put down some carpet. This is actually concrete. Maybe actually, you know, sometimes I really like to try and put wall lights where I can. Let me turn the lights down here, um, because I like it when the light isn't like floating in my face. What if there was just this in here? What if this is just <laughs> what if it's just that? I wish that was a little bit brighter. Maybe we'll have to have those somewhere else. There we go. This feels correct. <laughs> Hi, Coco. Uh, oh, you're Indigo Candies at Twitch. Okay. Just came across this live stream. Happy to see you again. Yeah, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Kind of like the rave in the showers, yes. Maybe it's maybe this is a special bacteria resistant lighting. Maybe it kills bacteria. The red. That could be fun. <laughs> I love a neon light. I overuse them a lot. Olive oil is in my room here with me. And uh, I don't know if she's going to cause a fuss. I can hear her getting off the bed. Possible she'll make me bring her downstairs. We shall see. Maybe it scares the spiders. Maybe it just hides the soap scum. <laughs> Maybe it just hides it. Someone gonna slip and break their ass in the shower. Let's see. I don't know what. I feel like we need just like random colors. I have one one color. We can keep the green. That's kind of fun. We'll have colorful bathrooms. But I also don't want to only have. Maybe that's what I need to do right now. Is like. Pop down some lighting. See, this is the issue is I don't know how I'm going to handle, like, the, the toilets. Um, have you heard of the UV lights that burned all the NFT bros at the NFT convention? <laughs> some... <laughs> Wait, same vibe as these lights. I've never heard of that. That's so funny. Uh, yeah, maybe that's it. I feel like everything has a very scientific purpose here. And they might not be fantastic purposes. <laughs> Hi, Dickie Bunny. Welcome in. I got me some coffee, and I actually put it in a nice little tumbler so it'll stay warm. Grass toilet. <laughs> that gave me psychological psychological damage. Wait, put grass in the bathroom and no toilets. What a fertilized garden. There you go. <laughs> you get a, it's so convenient. You get a nice garden out of it. See, the thing is, like, so I could technically put, like, this. But that's such, like, it feels like a waste of space. But the problem is, is if I do this, they're going to all fight, right? I guess I could just do, like, a singular one and a, and a sink and call it good. Apparently one convention of staff members bought, like, medical grade lighting? The lighting you should not even look at without proper gear? Oh my god. <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. Um, they use sterilization UV. They used a type of radiation. They have one of those... At my piercer, he keeps it in a separate room and uses sunglasses to open the door. That's wild. That's so funny, though. They thought sanitizing... <laughs> they bought sanitizing UV lights instead of regular. Oh my gosh. And they ended up with vision lights. That's crazy. They thought it looked cool. That's ridiculous. I feel like maybe I need this fancy toilet. Oops, I think I just got the wrong color. I can't tell what the colors are. Oh no, I did get the right color. Here, let's make it light again. I think I'm gonna have to do this. And then, I don't know, I guess I could put like a big mirror. I don't need to go, I don't think I need to be too detailed, but here, I also haven't got my move objects or my quarter tile on. Fancy toilets in the fancy dorms. I wish I had one of these that was just long. Like, I can do like this. All the way across, technically. That's kind of fun. <laughs> That's kind of fun, you know. <laughs> Next to each other so they can hold hands. True. <laughs> True. Um, wait, put two, two, I'm missing so many messages. Put two toilets directly across from each other for maximum weird. <laughs> Green light in the bathroom. <laughs> That's what Calicundi Eration does to you, so these college students will be fine. Yes, exactly. Here, we could do... See, they're gonna... But they're gonna, like, yell at each other, right? If I... Also, they're gonna be in the white. See, these bathrooms were not made well. <laughs> these are poorly made bathrooms. I made them based on aesthetic, not functionality. <laughs> this 
this double toilet? Oh gosh, I think I've seen that picture. I know what that picture is. I think, I think. Okay, let's put some, some mild... We could be evil and put the toilet paper, like, here. What if... <laughs> what if the toilet paper is just, like... <laughs> what if... What if we just... <laughs> what if it's over there? <laughs> I could also actually be doing something like this. <laughs> I don't know where to, where I want to put it. I could just put it over here. <laughs> All the big shitting commences. That would be a freaky thing. Uh, I went to a church bathroom with three toys lined up. I had a full range of emotions about it. Oof. That sounds like like it's set up by somebody who was like in the military or something. <laughs> like that's wild. We've all been to this bathroom. Smelly small bathroom with a sketchy bar club. <laughs> um I don't know if I need anything else to make this perfect a perfect level. I feel like somebody needs this in like their dorm or something, but I also don't want to overdo the dorm decorating. Because I don't need it to be, like, lagging too badly. That's, that's the issue, is... Like... I don't know where to put this, either. Can that be there? It doesn't really... It's usually, like, on the way out, but it's like... Maybe we won't have that. <laughs> maybe we won't. Ooh, we should have some random pipes everywhere that nobody knows what they do. They just They're just mysterious pipes that are full of Vidkin's secret liquid. <laughs> Vidkin's secret liquid. That's cool. I could put it on the diagonal wall. What are the colors again? I feel like the black ones. Mysterious pipes. <laughs> Those are the fart... <laughs> the fart pipes. <laughs> Those are the fart picknut. <laughs> Vidkin's vignut. Vig... Vigunk. Vidgunk. <laughs> Vidkin's vidgunk. <laughs> The term Vidkin's secret liquid is a <laughs> Vidkin's secret special liquid. Yeah, I could put him here. The thing is, I have to turn off snapping to do it because otherwise I just can't quite get it right. But yeah, that works. We can put it here. While I have snapping off, let's. Oh, we'll put. How high did I do that one? There we go. Or I could make it, like, symmetrical and put this one here. Uh-oh. They're not lined up. This is gonna drive me nuts. Good enough. Close enough. I'm fully joking guys about mm, gunky. Vidkin's gonna gunk! Stop! <laughs> Vidkin's gonna gunk! Vidkin went to the clinic down by the eye top with a secret liquid, and that's how he ended up with all those professors. Oh no. Maybe that's the... Maybe it's like... The secret... Maybe it's it's like... So like, there's this game that I played. Um, oh, I'm playing this game on my Xbox, especially on console, and this NPC just spawned from the table. I'm actually... We're actually oh, <laughs> very nice. There's this uh, game that came out a while ago. Unfortunately, it was like kind of a flop because it didn't work out very well. Um, but I really, I played it recently and I really enjoyed it. And it's called, uh, I played it at the beginning of the year. It's it's the, it's called We Happy Few. I don't know if y'all have heard of it. It's like based in like dystopian 1960s London. So everything's like this like very like mod and like psychedelic stuff and it's like I really enjoyed it a lot personally because I'm very into that theme even though it was super glitchy and kind of broken and um it yeah I, I really liked it I didn't buy it for a long time because I was like I kept hearing it was bad everybody said it was bad but I feel like it's one of the, my favorite games I've played recently that's not just like a sims game yeah it looked really I was so excited when it was announced but it it the like I think there was budget issues and stuff. There was some budget issues. Maybe maybe we should have a, a We Happy Few gameplay session sometime. We'll do a, a variety day and I'll share the game because I've been, I've been wanting to do a replay of it. But anyway, what it reminds me of, there's this, um, 
in the game, there's like, it's like people have to take these special pills to stay happy in like the dystopian world that they're in. Um, and the, there's, there was like, there's like this liquid going through everything. Like there's this like, it's like dangerous liquid. Take your joy. Yeah. And there's like this dangerous liquid, like g pumping through everything. That's what it, this reminds me of. And I was like, maybe Vidkin's like Vidkin's creations that are all his, all of his professors are, Vid, you know, Vidkin's creations and stuff. Maybe they're all like living on this, like the, the, the pills in their, in their special, <laughs> this is their liquid that they have to take to keep happy. Maybe that to keep under Vidkin's control. <laughs> that 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 was the that was where that came from. <laughs> but yeah, also yeah, it was a great premise, poor execution. I still loved it, and would definitely play it again sometime. Just because I'm a really big sucker for anything that's like 1960s mod themed. So it was like, um, oh, that reminds me, I did end up buying TCM, but I refunded it. Super fun, but I really felt at a disadvantage being a new player. Interesting. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I, I have not played it in quite a while. I think I would, I personally would may, I, I personally think I'm probably going to wait until maybe hopefully they get their crap together a little bit better. You know, <laughs> the clone suckle Vidkin's gunk. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. That's just a pipe for outgoing shit, <laughs> but maybe that's, but maybe that's the base. Maybe that's the base ingredient of the gunk is Calicundian poopies. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. <laughs> Farm pipe. I don't know, do we need anything in here? I feel like some of these facilities, like the most like medical and scientific and basic as possible. Also, it looks like I meant, I meant to put this like that. I think this will be okay as is. I don't know if I want like a decoration here or anything. I guess we could have another pipe. <laughs> Just throwing pipes everywhere. That's going to be my like go-to decoration. I feel like, is that going to be an issue with who showers here? Is that going to cause showering problems? I'm just going to have pipes everywhere. <laughs> We're just going to have pipes everywhere. <laughs> Why the pink showers look like hanging dongs? Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to need a, a, a 30 hour ban on, on Crystal Bed. <laughs> We're going to need to take a break here. <laughs> I can't play games where people are after you and shit, so I can't play. <laughs> oh, okay. Five Nights Freddy's would probably literally kill you. Interesting. Yeah, I get that. It was weird. I. I yeah. The only thing about the We Happy Few, there was like a, a curve where, like, once you got good enough, at, like knew what you were doing it was just like really easy i also actually never truly finished we happy few because i hit a glitch at the very last chapter which is really frustrating so that's why i wanted to try it again but but vid vid gunk sucking is fine <laughs> well that's that's different <laughs> that's different oh so you're happy you're anti-happiness <laughs> you're denying vid can happies <laughs> not <laughs> why am i imagining like <laughs> why am i imagining Vidkin talking to one of his one of his uh one of his professor clones being like time to give Vidkin his happies <laughs> come over here and give Vidy his happies give overlord Vidy his happies I hate that what should be in the entryway <laughs> stop uh, <laughs> Beth is on thin ice right now I feel like I don't know what I want to have. That's the thing. Like, what room needs to be what? One needs to be like a, a, a entertainment room. I bet two hours sleep. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. You're all right. Maybe like I'm gonna make this like a lounge or something, like a place for them to sit. I am very the folks to sit. The, <laughs> the, 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 the visual, the that visual was a hate crime. <laughs> I apologize. I'm gonna formally apologize. I formally apologize for the visual. Yeah, we need like fancy, like these maybe, or colorful stuff. But also do these and have some colors. I like the I like the theme of doing like black and white with pops of color. Do like something like this. We could have like a little moment here. 
I'm gonna have like a video game station and stuff. It's on Discord. Both versions are unfortunately on the same Tumblr. So the visual is biblically accurate. I what are we t I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna I don't even wanna know. Make one room the workout room, except it has just the military training thing. True. Although like a workout room makes sense. Oh I should have I could probably do I could just copy paste the bathrooms, I forgot about it. We'll do that in a sec. We'll just worry about designing one side. But yeah, we need like a study zone. See, that's the thing, is I don't want to put like bookshelves in here because if I want this to be like a recreation zone, I don't think I want sims who are trying to research getting in the way of the fun having sims, right? A punch keg, that's good. Also, yeah, a kitchen. I almost forgot that we're gonna need a kitchen. I love me some pink and, and and green, so we're gonna have a fun little pink and green moment. An arcade zone, that's true. Maybe in here, if this is the entertainment zone. Um maybe like a television with some game and stuff. Yeah, kitchens aren't allowed. <laughs> only Vidkin's food you can only eat Vidkin's food packets. He gives out MRE style food food packets. Watermelon seats, true. I don't know what kind of... I feel like Vidkin has a bunch of, like, grant money, so he can just fill... Look at this. What is this? This must be... What is this from? Is this from... Maybe this is from one of the stories games? This is a fancy television. Do this. There we go. We got, like, that going on. I don't know if we're gonna have routing issues. We might. We'll see how that works. I just, like... Sometimes it helps, like, cut up- cut the room up a little, you know? Oh, oh, thank you, Danny. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for it. Oh, is it pre order? What hurt your eyes? <laughs> oh no, what hurt your- oh, these hurt your eyes? I jumped. Yeah, that was a little loud. <laughs> that was loud. The couch hurt your eyes. It's okay. If you don't- if you keep looking long enough, you won't see anything. It'll be fine. <laughs> the pain will go away soon. It's okay. Oh, you know what? I feel like we're gonna have like, um, <laughs> the couch. It's so that's the point. That's the style. That's the style. What if it's like, nah. Uh oh. I downloaded Life Stories um, build buy stuff, but I'm super spoiled by Michelle's recolor, so I'm not having options of those. Oh yes, I get that. I, Michelle has so many great recolors. Uh oh. I'm super spoiled by Michelle Nut recolors having nutons for those nutums. Kind of sucks nut. <laughs> Not the sucks nut. Kind of sucks nut. <laughs> kind of sucks nut. This is Laszlo's idea. Yeah, couch barrier. Hmm, because I can also implement some. I might not be able to put it here. I might have to adjust it, but I could also implement like some half walls. That can help cut up a space a little bit. Oh, a bubble blower is good. That should, I feel like maybe a bubble blower on the roof. If I were to put... Let me adjust this here. We're going to move everything over a little. I have to... Maybe we'll do something. We'll open it up a little for routing to be less of an issue. You have like this going on, right? I don't know if I'd want to bring it like that. That just helps like fill the space a little. And we'll just I'm just gonna use the the bricks everywhere because I think that's just like what they do. I can bring this over a little bit. Like that. Um yeah, I think that helps give it some shape because it's it can be that's one thing I hate is having big open rooms where everything's just up against the walls and it's just like a big it's like, it's like something out of some machinima from 2000. Don't forget to add sprinklers, otherwise the game won't recognize it as a dorm. I didn't know that. Thank you for pinning that, Comey. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. I had no idea. That would have been an issue. Because I know I have to, like, change it to dorm after the fact. I was going to put something like this here. I love this set. This is the Sims 3 University set. Ooh, the black kind of is kind of neat. It kind of blends in a lot, but maybe in a good way. I guess I could put like a lamp here. 
Looks like I just have to pick somewhere to start. Oh, that's kind of fun. Look at that lamp. That Now this I know is from... something. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know what it's from. I lied. <laughs> is that really a thing? Apparently. Brain likes the half wall by the TV. For some reason when I place them there I'm always like, where would it be plugged in? True. That's true. Remember to include counter islands. Okay. Yes, I knew the cooktop for the kitchen. Skimmer security's calling. Um, ceiling sprinkler. Dorm doors. Okay, we got that. We got the dorm doors. The sink. Okay, maybe next after I do this room, we'll make sure to pick a room. Maybe this should have been the kitchen. Mm. What should be the kitchen? They're all pretty much the same size. Maybe this will be the kitchen? Be having it be like a separate little room here. I feel like this just needs to be like an entry zone. We could have some like chess tables and stuff. Um, we have this going on. We've got we could put some we could put some arcade machines along this wall too. I feel like everything for any hobby or skill that Sims need to do. Um. Oh, you've built the- mine never work, but I don't have- interesting. I think I'll make sure to add them, because I know at least that the NPC needs- I would think maybe just the one sprinkler above the- above that one special stove would be good. I'm gonna do, like, some of this out here. I don't know if I want- I kind of like the look of, like, the OG... Oh, do we want a Coca-Cola one? Do we want a... They got this fancy one in another language. <laughs> it's in English instead of Simlish. They got this fancy one. It's like a whole other language. It's, like, really cool. You can play a video game in a whole different language. Okay, that's not gonna work. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. Okay, let's try... something else here. I could also take away one of these, and then I don't have to worry about... Right? Then we could have... Can I do this? Do I need to... Oh my god. I'm, I'm fighting for my life. Hold on. These could be in here. We don't have enough space for everybody to be in and out doing their thing, you know? Okay, you had a kitchen and no sprinklers anytime. Dormies spawn in, find everything. Okay, well that's good. I don't know, I guess it... I'd rather just play it safe. And do it. This one kind of needs a little extra space of its own, I guess. Um, always fighting for my life with quarter tile placement. <laughs> yeah, I hate this, like, see, look at this chunk of, like, lighting behind it. It's weird. I don't know if this is going to be an issue. Why is it doing that? Does this one have it? Oh, this one doesn't have it. Alright, we got the Coca-Cola one. We're just going to do that. I think that'll be okay. Um, that definitely likes a little bit of stuff on the walls. I don't know what, like, what kind of stuff is going to be on the walls. I was thinking about, like, posters, but would it make more sense to have, like, official looking stuff, you know? That the school allows? Maybe, like, one of these guys? Oh, I, I have, I think I have recolors of one of, one of these bulletin boards. I do like this bulletin board, though. Do I have, oh, I have recolors of this bulletin board. Ooh, I got all kinds of, ooh, alien stuff. Alien stuff. I'm sorry, I hope, I'm kind of missing some of chat, I feel like, because I'm so zoned in. What are the names of the dorm in the other lot? This one, for now, is just called Dorm. That's not something we could come up with, too, is, like, names of dorms. That are either Calicundia themed or Vidkin themed. I just got slammed by the after lunch sleepies. Oh no. I'm sorry. Is it Coca-Cola with cocaine or without? <laughs> Good question. Maybe it's maybe it's the quest to take the cocaine out of the Coca-Cola. That's the game. Thank you for the save game. I'll do that too. I got a, a drink at lunch and I left it in my car. Oh no, it's just getting worse, Bex. <laughs> it's getting worse. You know, let me just save before I forget. The Coke in the Coca-Cola. Uh, what else is there? I think that's food. 
You got robotic stuff. Okay, grilled cheese. Probably alien is the best for this place. We'll just do alien stuff. <laughs> the Cunditory. <laughs> the Cunditory is a good name. Um, oh my god, there's a bug. There's a bug. Okay, so we kind of have that. This might be a little cram jammed in. The other option would be to do like this. Bring this guy over here. And then maybe actually just... Or... How do I want to do this? I could get rid of... I could have like something like... Like an in inner zone. But that doesn't make sense. Now how- yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna make- Oh, I actually grabbed one little thingy. I need all of the thingies. Hmm. I don't know if I like that as it be as much as it being contained. If you want to name the lots after the curious family members, you you want you uh won't run out of curious names. That's true. <laughs> There'll be plenty of them. Maybe that's actually a good option though. Like the the Galarn Curious uh, Memorial, <laughs> the the not so curious memorial dorm. That could be fun. This is my building experience, is just doing a thing and then ripping it down and doing something else. Hmm. Yeah, I wish I could do this, but it won't let me go against the wall. Just, is it just going to be floating by itself? Nope. I have to change the windows, which I could do. Change the windows. We could have a, a random floating half wall. I don't know if I like that as much. It's like open now. Hmm. We could do... Let me get rid of this guy for right now. I can add like smaller ones in. I have like a little zone like this. Like a little contained zone. I could even put like rug or something. That's not terrible, I guess. <laughs> not terrible, I guess. Is that actually lined up with them? Yeah. I also leave the- I liked the, all the windows being like open and in... You know, like I liked everything being open. But I technically could also leave the windows out. But let's... I'll have a mixture of little windows and big windows. I think that looks okay. That kind of breaks it up a little too. There we go. Oh god, it's flickering. <laughs> it's flickering! Some kind of bulletin board um, there would have like studi studi student info and flyers, yeah. <laughs> Open concept bathroom. <laughs> in in the in the end in this room, yes. Yeah, but yeah, I could put like another Yeah, I kinda like this because then we could have something going on over here, like little desks. Like I could even I could have little desks that are just like open for anybody to like do their homework on and stuff. Um, corner living room vibes, yes, true. You just have like like this little guy just sitting here, just ready for anybody's usage. I don't know if I, I could have a computer there too. I was thinking about having a, a computer lab zone, like have an actual computer lab. Um, put some showers in. <laughs> I feel like you're a bad influence. I have nightmares about shit like that all the time. That was always something that, um, some of my, like, online friends from, uh, when I played a lot of free sims online, we would always joke about, like, some of the public lots that people made for the different- Cause, like, in The Sims Online, there's, like, different lot categories. And some of them you could open publicly for anybody to come visit the lot. And they had different uses and stuff. Um, and... Well, I guess- I guess I got- Oh, that was the other thing! I was gonna... 
the I tried to set up a different ad setup. I forgot to mention about that. I don't know. It's telling me I need to roll ads right now, but I'm afraid it's gonna like. One sec. Let me let me tweak that. I got distracted. Yeah, but they used to have different ad like um lot things, and it was always we'd always kind of joke about the ones that would literally just be like a big open room with like a bunch of toilets along the wall because they'd have so many visitors that they needed to just have enough space for everybody to use the toilet. And it was like just the most ridiculous. It'd just be like a big room with like the same type of carpet, and then just like showers and in bath in uh, toilets all along, open <laughs> is wild. I guess I'm gonna roll an ad. Um, I don't know what it's doing. I'm sorry if it. Let me know if it's like weird. <laughs> no, Sam, please. Uh oh. We've all uh, had a half. I've had a. Had half full bathroom nightmares. Glass wall bathroom nightmares. A, a nightmare where I had I went to a porta potty and there were no side walls in the adjacent pot. Oh no, not the wall toilets. <laughs> I'm a good influence. <laughs> I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. For people who are looking to have bad influence, maybe we'll put. Oh man, I want one of these on here. Why can't this be here? It is now. It is now. Let me turn. The lights down here so we can see what we're doing. I guess I could have a little light here. Maybe this guy can go over here instead. And then we can have like a lamp. There we go. We have a proper desk lamp. Um, maybe a wall lamp. I love a good wall lamp. Toilet walls. Toilet walls. What about some neon? I love a neon. I have some neon things going on. I don't know. I don't know. Also, these are very good, like, to just look very, like... Like a, like it's a science facility. Uh-oh, I have a meeting at two. Won't need to talk, but I have to listen. Oh no. I guess that's, that's alright. It's not terrible to have to just sit and listen, I guess. be easier to get through than just having to talk, I suppose. But I'm also not the one there, so... <laughs> you know, a bit of olive oil. Olive oil. The babiest of them all. I don't know what to put in this little room. I feel like there's not enough light over here. Maybe should I put another one of these bad boys? There you go. We have a couple of them. That, that's giving curious core. It's giving Vidkin core. Are there any, like, scientific statues I could put in here? Like, what is a scientific piece of decor? I have a... Oh, man, look at that. That looks like it should be, like, a centerpiece. I'm gonna throw that in here. I do that a lot where, like, if I find something I think I want to use in a different room, I'll I'll throw it into that room just over there. <laughs> a little olive oil boosting the spirits. <laughs> a nutting at two. Yes, yes, a nutting at two. <laughs> gotta, gotta remember you're nutting at two. Um, oh, I do have some of these. Ooh, we definitely should have some skeletons in here. These are from that, that mod where you can dig up bones. What are these? Oh my, it's a it's an airplane wing. It's a hippopotamus. I have some random stuff in here. <laughs> Just dump things outside out and decide where to place it later. Yeah. I'm like, I know I want that. Ooh, wait, I didn't know I had this. Wait, this is perfect. This is from the Sims 3 university. It's the freebie table. We'll put that in the entryway. Do I have a do I have like a collection for let's see. My collections are- my collections are chugging? Oh. I wonder if I had a collection for, like, The Sims 3 University. I don't- I don't really reckon- oh wait, is that it? Yeah, I do. Ooh, it's too bad these- these are, like, non-functional, I think. It's just for de decoration. The Sims 3 doesn't have- oh, we have so- um, so we have some of these. 
We have some of these floating around here. That's perfect. I forgot I had all this stuff. Oh, my eye itches. Uh oh, there's only one recolor, though. <laughs> That's lame. That's okay. That's okay. We can still use it. We'll have to use some of these, like, themed... Some of these themed things. I didn't want to put this in here, but it feels right. But I guess I won't. What else do we have? We have, like, a little... And we could have like a place where there's a bunch of trophies displayed. Oh, we have some we have some plants. A little tiny diploma. There's some little stuff. I guess that's the bulk of it. Um, yeah, we need some like other activities for them to do in here. Got that. We've got those. <laughs> Maybe like a ooh, like a dartboard. They love that dartboard. The Sims love dartboards. They go nuts for dartboard. Oh, I have recolors. I forgot I have recolors of the dartboard. We can get it like a little black recolor. And we'll just put one in. The Myshuno game would be good, too. I could probably find a place for that to squeeze in somewhere. Maybe in another room, too, if I can't fit it in here. They have... Hmm. I wanted to put like a board up. We'll just have that there, and then I could have like some kind of other bulletin board. Um, ba -da -dum -bum -bum -bum. Wish there was some more official looking things on this bulletin board, but that's okay. Like it's stuff that the Sims put there, I guess. I mean, I assume the Sims would put it there. Maybe I don't know if anybody else would be putting it there, so you know. Keep wanting to like center this. That kind of works. I also don't want too much crowding. I want enough space for everybody to move around. I feel like there needs to be something here. I don't know if we do we I feel like I don't know if you would trust plants with like a bunch of college kids, you know? You know? I feel like there's some four to two high school years bulletin board that is more of that vibe. I think I have one. There's this one. Maybe I could try the only thing is it doesn't let me quarter tile it. But I could technically I could use like the off off grid. There's this one. I don't know if this is what you was thinking of. Um, fake plants, true. Vidkin can't let them have any true power. <laughs> They're obviously fake plants, yeah. Do that. Oop. I think that'd work. I wish it was, like, thicker. I know I probably put a lot of it in the wall with what I just did, though. Yeah, that'd work. Oh, like a plant could be here. Maybe that's what it, I mean, Vidkin's like a plant boy, you know? So, but he's probably gonna, like you said, fake plants. But I don't know, I mean, I would assume that all of the college kids would get high and, like, try to eat the fake plants, you know? <laughs> I don't know that I'd still trust them with fake plants, but maybe we could still try. We can try to have some trust. I hate, I love this plant, but no matter where I want to put it, it always cuts through the walls. Maybe like that. Ooh, that's kind of neat. That's a nice filler. And then maybe some other filler over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even this could be chilling over here. The most notable thing about the old Curious House is the botany room and the telescope. True. Yeah, like they have a little greenhouse. Maybe they should- maybe we should have like a greenhouse on the roof or something. Where they can actually grow stuff. Because I have those. I have the... I don't know where it's at exactly. I have the... Where you could... Oh, right here. I have these. You can get from the catalog. 
it's the reward object. Maybe up upstairs they'll have a bunch of these on like a on like like a little thing. <laughs> a, a greenhouse. <laughs> I also have um let me see. I don't know where I'd put it. Would it be a maybe it should be more centered? If this was the greenhouse. Let me undo that. It should be like up here. That's too big. Oops. I messed her up. Thank you for the lurk, Bex. Good luck at your nutting. <laughs> I don't know if it's perfectly centered, but something like this might make it a little narrower. Mm, that might be too narrow. It's kind of a, a haphazardly done, because I also have... I don't know what kind of wall would be on it, but I have the garden set. Oh, I also got... I also downloaded this other thing, um, where it's the... It's all of the animal... All of the, like, the farm animals from The Sims 4. Um, but, like, you can you can make them in Create a Sim. Yeah. The farm animals, um, but you can make them in Create a Sim in The Sims 2. They're, I think they're just, like, little suits for the farm animals, for the animals, I'm guessing. They act like dogs, because they're technically dogs, but, you know. I don't know if I have a collection for the, the other thing that I'm looking for. That's okay. Hmm, I'd be on the siding section. Oh, I'm looking for like this. Um, I think I've used the garden section for the greenhouse. Yeah. Um, I like the... Actually, we'll do the black ones. I like the... I have some custom converted windows that are like greenhouse walls that I really like. I'll just do that because it doesn't matter because you won't see it anyway. Um, and then let me turn my snapping on again. Here they are. They're really nice. Do I want green or do we want black? I feel like the green is a nice little pop. I don't know how I want to do the doors either. We'll just do this. And we'll do like double doors because I can do, they have like really nice custom doors that go with it too, which is cool. So we could have a whole greenhouse zone up here. I could have like some open spots where maybe Sims who are interested in gardening could garden. I assume you can garden on a dorm lot. I don't know if that's a restriction. Per se. Per se. I feel like I need like something like this in here. Or like this this looks like it's some kind of like rubber mat or something. I don't like how it's not like fully black. But that also looks like it could be we'll do that. And then like go into the garden section. We have these, which are like a hang hanging light for the wall. We have do that. We'll just have like some grow lights. I don't know if we'll- oh, that's right. That one's not recolorable. I forgot. Oh, but then also I have to put a roof on it. Oops. I think I have to go still in this section. Yeah. That match. It's the same green color. That's kind of neat. Because the only thing about the, the greenhouses is that the, the walls 
the walls like don't go half down they either go all the way down or not at all and it's like annoying um i don't know if i should have i don't know what i want to put in here necessarily besides those other things i'll just put like some of these up here for right now maybe i'll come back to it i hear olive oil getting ready to bark this olive oil it's okay i think i did make this a little too big uh-oh Puppy. It's okay, puppy dog. He's still going at it, but <laughs> it's okay. Somebody Oh my. I don't know if you guys heard that. She made a she had she was talking. Um somebody was pulled into the driveway. I think it's I think it's Hank's daddy. <laughs> He's like giving sass. <laughs> she said what she said. <laughs> Where should I put this guy? We have like... Oh, puppy! Olive oil, please! Have mercy! Like, have like this here, like it's something to do with the science stuff. <laughs> Mr. Hank is another dog that is in the household often because we pets at him during the day. Um... His name is Hank, and he is a hound dog. Um, he he's a some kind of I think his his breed is that he's a black and tan mixed with something else. Hi, Lori. Hello, hello. Um, I forget what he's a mixture of, but yeah, he's a hound dog that belongs to my brother that we pet sit during the day. He we haven't heard him recently. Usually, sometimes he'll be outside bellowing because he doesn't really bark. He like bellows. <laughs> Oh, gee, something ha just happened and I forgot what it was. My brain is so scrambled. Oh, no. I get it. I definitely have that happen all the time. I guess we'll do this. <laughs> Me every 30 seconds. He also honks. Yeah, he's a honker. He's a honking boy. I don't know what I, what kind of lighting floor. I want like a floor light. Ooh, this feels like that feels very medical. <laughs> it feels very like you know, <laughs> like you know. I feel like we need more of these around. Just like wherever. I don't know what. So they come in this way. There could just be some seating here. Like I said, maybe some some chess tables. Um, I feel like maybe a fancy seat, a fancy bench. I never use this one, but I don't love it. Like, I'm not crazy about how it looks. If this was a two-seater, maybe we could have, like, individual seating. Ooh, look at that fancy one. That's a fancy one. That's a fancy one. Yeah, that's true. A public computer. Yeah, I want to figure out where to fit some, like, public computers. I don't know if I want them in this entryway zone. Or if I want them, like, in a different room. Like, their own dedicated study room. I feel like I need a study room. Here, we can do... I hate how the, the black color blends in a lot. Maybe... Do a white. White with black? That's, like, bright. Oh wait, that's like a little bit of an off-white. Oh, I kind of like that better. That's like the original texture from The Sims 3. I have a couple of seats. Maybe that's where, like, people sit, you know? Like, people sit in the seats. <laughs> Hi, Owly Pip! Welcome in! <laughs> welcome, welcome! Our little, our dorm decor. I feel like, like, we need, like, a little seating zone. 
I could also use some half walls to break up some space. Um, what about also like the, the half walls with glass on them? That's also fun. That's a good way to do it. Apparently picking up my Sims 2 Legacy again. Ooh. Nut, nut, nuttily picking up my Sims 2 Legacy. Ugga nut. <laughs> I feel like butt spots replacements are not hitting as well as other times. Wait, there's a Google Spreadsheets bed spread you can buy online. You can sleep in the sheets. That's funny. <laughs> that sounds like some nerd stuff. That sounds like some top tier nerd, nerd stuff. <laughs> yeah, like a reception room. Like maybe this is where there's like a phone. Maybe the kids are allowed to use the phone in this room or something. I don't know where... I guess I could put the phone here. It feels like a very unimportant spot. Maybe this can go here, and then we could have a phone here. Is it, like, not good to have... I guess it's not... I guess it's okay to have multiple phones, but, like... Maybe we'll use this one. Not that. Another one of these popped in here. Another one popped in here. Olive, I swear to God, please do not start barking. I hear, I heard a little, oof. I heard a little boof. A little boof. Yeah, imagine if you could, so are you saying, so Google, Spre is it just like a generic spreadsheet that you can get print printed on your, uh, like, as like a sheet? It'd be funny if you could do a custom one. If they would like, you could link them your spreadsheet <laughs> and they would custom print. You could have like your, your, your Sims 2 <laughs> tracker printed on a bed sheet. <laughs> we both use catalogs. <laughs> we use spreadsheet catalog. So really, I think, yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't say I was one of the nerds. I didn't say I wasn't one of the nerds, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying that's some nerd stuff. Um, what's another, I guess, yeah, like the places to play stuff. Places to do stuff. Places to do stuff. Uh-oh, oh, oh you're behind. It's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I don't know what kind of... Do that. I wish I could change the top color, but I can't. I have, I have... This, oh my god, undo. I have this one, which, oh. She's having a moment. She's having some, some problems. I guess we won't talk about her right now. Oh, a stereo would be good. A stereo would be good. I'm gonna plop down this somewhere. I don't know if it's gonna sit exactly here, because that leaves, leaves us one tile of, like, entryway space. Maybe there. I could have more other places as well. I am not a nerd, but I love me an Excel sheet. <laughs> well, you know, that's there's there's like much worse things that you could put in that sentence than Excel sheet. So I don't think you're doing too bad. I haven't got a bubble blower. Ooh, a fish tank's good too. And I have some. I think I have some default replacements for the fish tank that make make it customizable. Hmm, I don't love this. I guess that technically works. We're doing a lot of black and white. Gotta run. Uh, meeting some friends for lunch. Okay, thank you, Sandal. Have a good one. Thank you, thank you for us hanging out. Um, blue chest. Whoa. <laughs> Phone died after I said hi, hello again. Uh-oh. Hello again. <laughs> hello, hello again. I used to work in accounting, so spreadsheets are chef's kiss. <laughs> yeah, fish tank. What if we got the big Mongo fish tank? Mongo fish tank. Hi, Peachy Cream! Simpson University made me so excited for college as a kid. Yeah, I remember that too, and then just like... I think I just thought it was like so cool and stuff, and then like actually doing the college was different. <laughs> It was different. <laughs> it was not the same. 
Yeah, what about this? We gotta get the big monster one. Maybe that's- maybe I don't need this wall. I need to work- maybe that's the centerpiece of this room. Is the big monster fish tank. The funniest part is- is most definitely a Google spreadsheet. But the title specifies Microsoft Excel sheet, that's funny. And then I went to college. <laughs> the immeasurable disappointment. Uh oh, I thought I downloaded like- Oh yeah, I did. Wait, I think it's like one of those where you have to... Oh, it's empty. She's empty. Why, um... Okay, this one's still got fishies in it. Oh, I, I like the concept of it just being, like, desolate. <laughs> A desolate fish tank. Do I have to stalk him? I might. I'll probably be okay. I mean, I could have somebody do it. Dang it, I thought I had some recolors that worked a little bit different, but maybe I'm not- maybe I'm confused about how they work. Is that, like, lined up? Also, I meant to delete this. I got excited about the fish tank. Just trying to, like, visually line it up centered. Like, here. We could do- we could do chess next to the fishies. What if we played chess next to the fishies? Oh my god. Um, yeah, maybe it doesn't? I don't know. Oh, now I can change it. Oh, okay, there's some fish options. There's some options of fish. I guess that's that. <laughs> Put your chess subjects in there. <laughs> and we got some chess next to the fishies. And then we could do... I could get rid of these two for now. We can put these elsewhere. I don't know where they'll be. We could have another chess table on the other side. I'm not sure how I'm going to fit other stuff. But for now, this is what we're doing. I don't know if the fact that this is like kind of in is going to be an issue. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know? God, I am XP. <laughs> <laughs> got <a> MXP. <laughs> um, yeah, we gotta have our little test test subject. I could, ooh, I could even put. Oh, I think I remember now. I think the default removes some of the decor, so you can add your own. <laughs> got I am gets Belagoth. <laughs> gets Belagoth. What can we? We can put our own things inside of the fish tank. That's the purpose of the fish tank. What if there's books in the fish tank? Alien. The little alien guy. We could do that. I think I have the little alien guy. Um, let me turn off snapping. Actually, I think he's in, like, the kids section. Or maybe he's not. Maybe he's not. Did I miss him? Mm, no, I guess he's not. Must be in the sculptures. Oh, we hit- wait, blow up alien. Wait, blow up alien man. <laughs> I don't know if he can fully- if we named him once he goes in, true, we could- Look at him. I don't know which way he should face. <laughs> which way- I don't know the best- Like, it feels like people are coming in from this direction, right? I gotta, like, get all up in here to grab him. Oh, no. It's gonna be hard to grab him. There we go. He's watching the chess game. <laughs> He's watching the chess game, nut. <laughs> Please ignore butt spot. <laughs> A healing presence. <laughs> Let him watch over you while you study, yes. He could be just here. We could have more things. We need more stuff in here. We have more stuff facing different directions. Oh, I also have, like, these things. These are also from university. Are there any fun recolors? No. Oh, we could have we could have this guy. Oh, we can have all kinds of fun stuff in here. It looks like they're sitting in the sand. <laughs> Wait, this is great. This is the best thing ever. 
<laughs> well done. Habitat. <laughs> it's his natural habitat. Maybe upright. Maybe we want him upright. There we go. He's kind of buried in the sand there. Um, I'm just grabbing random stuff. A tombstone seems good. <laughs> a tombstone seems like a good plan. <laughs> I think I need this guy more central. Like right here. Maybe just facing straight. Straight forward. There we go. Freezer bunny, good. <laughs> what, uh, he is a fool who falls in love too easily. My ex Alexander is the micropath, microplastic abomination Murph, my <laughs> mascot of. I feel like I had a stroke reading that. I don't know what's happening. And on his side, buried halfway. Yeah, he's, well, we can have him kind of. He's buried in that way. Hmm. Uh, what else did we say? Um, I f it's like the previous graduates, yeah, had like a prank where they left him in. Uh, oh yeah, Freezer Bunny. Where is, is the fr I think the Freezer Bunny is a toy. Oh, we could have like one of these, the kids' toys in there is kind of fun. Um, a little stuff. Wait, it's a mascot. It's, the problem is everybody's going to be trying to grab it, aren't they? They're going to be, they're going to be fighting over it. But we can still stuff them in there anyway. Oh, I also have a llama one. I love this. <laughs> this is great. I gotta make sure to save after we do this so I don't lose it. I'm gonna be upset. Did I miss the freezer bunny? Oh, there's one here. I don't know if this is- this might be a lit up freezer bunny. This one's big. He's hiding behind the tomb. He's standing on the tombstone. Oil. <laughs> Thank you for the save game. I feel like I need a little bit more over here. Are there other random things? Oh, I have an idea. I think I have hidden somewhere here. Actually, I do have some. Oh, these are big. I don't know where these came from. These are like actual. Supposed to be actual stuff. <laughs> My brain's not working right now. <laughs> Actual stuff. Um, I do have some stuff like these that are supposed to be it's like <laughs> just some eggs and milk and stuff. Or like decoration. Or like clutter. They're like out of the fridge. Oops. Go up. Just got some things in there. Guess we're having a massive brain fart today, yeah. So whose grave is so shown in the aquarium? Good question. I don't know who who would be who would be in whose grave is in here. I think there's one that's like just a can. Is that supposed to be like a McDonald's container? That's supposed to be like. Oh, this is a little robot. And pet food. I think that's a little muschetti. Muschetti? I just said muschetti. Spaghetti. Oh, we got some bread. We need a little bit of bread. There we go. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> OG Vidkin. <laughs> Glarn Curious Memorial Fish Tank. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> Maybe that's it. <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> well, OG Vidkin. That's true. Maybe just like... What if we just had like this little guy chilling in here? Just to fill up the space. Like, I want the... This... Oh, oh no! <gasps> oh no! I don't want to ruin everything. I like that I can just, like, be inside the fish tank. Maybe... <gasps> wait! Maybe all of, all of the pipes in the bathroom lead to the fish tank. Maybe the toilet water and the fish in the toilets? are connected to the f in, in the water that you shower are fish tank water. <laughs> Maybe it's all it's all one unit. <laughs> A picture of Vidkin. Ooh, we could do that. Is this got colors? No. 
<laughs> oh dear god. <laughs> but maybe that's it. Maybe that's the truth. Oh my god, there's there's light shining off of a vehicle outside and it's hitting me right in the eye. Right, the, right in the peripheral. Oh, there's a dinosaur. <gasps> we gotta put this dinosaur in here. Is there colors? Because he blends in a lot. No. Put him over here. There's kind of an empty spot right here. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> the toxic fishies, the most toxic fishies. Yeah, let's see. What do I have? I have multiple Vidkin recolors. We could have a few hiding in here. Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember what ones have Vidkin recolors on them. These are not it. <laughs> Are they these? I think they're these, yeah. Yeah, this is like Vidkin as a baby. I think this is Vidkin and Cersei's first kiss. Unfortunately, they're gonna be like dark. Maybe instead of the hydrant, I'll have these in here. This is like so maximalist. <laughs> this is like everything all at once. What other pictures was there? Oh, that's their family. Here we go, we got a photo. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many things. I fear your power is too great. Oh no, don't don't ruin this on me. Here we go. Maybe I'll get Maybe I'll get rid of the dinosaur. I feel like I gotta edit. We gotta edit a little bit. So that it's not too much, you know. Here we go. I like that the the alien, the picture, and the tombstone are making like a nice little triangle in the center. You know? And then we've got everything else going on around it. I think that's fun. I like that. I like that. We gotta save. Do the save. Watch the game crash. <laughs> They're like, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Let me put some plants in there. True. Do the, do, do, I don't know if the, do, I don't know if, I think they'd have a hard time keeping the plants alive in the toxic poop water. You know what I mean? Realistically? <laughs> Imagine the implication of the poor dead guy resting in literal piss. No. <laughs> Not this. <laughs> if the uh, toilets and fish tank are connected, are we going to see any turds in the tank? Because that's gross. I, you know what? You can use your imagination on that one, I guess. Also, yeah, we definitely need... Let me turn the lights off. Does this light... Oh, whoops. I can't yet. Does this produce some light. I think it must. <laughs> we should have a haunted dorm full of Vidkin ghosts. <laughs> that would be funny. I just think I could plop like another light in here. What kind of light would you would you use? I don't know. I do have like these colorful lights. They're not super super duper bright, but they add something. Oh, it's above the whoops. Um, I also have, ooh, wait, hmm, intriguing. I have these invisible lights that don't really work very well. Or not. <laughs> I like butts. That was a good one, butts, but that was a good one. We'll give you that one. We could hide this in the sand. Then it'll give off a glow. I think. Give off a slight green glow. It kind of gives up. I like how the light's hitting like all the furniture around it. That kind of helps a little. Yeah, I think that does do a little bit. I could have one facing the other way too. I have it hiding there. There we go. So we've got a little bit of green happening. Um, that's right, I forgot. We do have this here, so that's something. I feel like this is, like, empty all around here, though. I like how I was like, I don't want to overdo it because I don't want too much lag. <laughs> and then here I am, like, stuffing a fish tank full with, like, Vidkin's entire life story. 
Maybe we'll um, put these guys over here. We'll do we'll do a bunch of chairs just to fill some space. Maybe a center piece here. I guess that's not the end of the world. And then I wanted this. Is it not letting me grab this? No. Uh, rude. Kind of rude. Kind of rude of them. Um, do you have any lots on the campus aside from the dorm? Yes, I do have a, um, there is a, ca a cafe, like a coffee shop, um, way over in the distance over here, you can kind of see. I can turn on the lights too. Um, that I set up, I started the shell for that. Um, I also have a lot, like, in this direction that I set up as, like, that maybe it'll be, like, a lounge or something, but I don't know that it's necessary that we, since we have the coffee shop, um, and then also in the distance somewhere here, I have another lot that's named library. We could have a library lot. That's kind of all I have right now. I don't know, I guess, I guess this could just be kind of like this. I don't know, is that... Even these here, I'm not sure I'm crazy about. With the routing situation. The other question would be to move the doors. Right, put the doors here. Then you'd have seats on either side. That would be something. We got some Sims 1 music playing right now. Hmm. Do you have any, um... Oh, I read that. This is my favorite song in The Sims 2 Trent. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very nice. I don't know, maybe I'll just... We'll just do lots of seating. We'll just some filler zone here for now. I think that's fine. That'll be this kind of like the entry zone. They can play some chess. They can come in here and do stuff. I feel like there was something else that... Oh, a stereo. Let me mention a stereo. I think that's a good idea. I can stuff it here or here. Um, I have this one. I think that'd be good. Nice dancing space, you know. I think that'd be good. I feel like I need to come up with some generic stuff to stuff into each dorm room. Like the same... The same... Just bed, desk, or dresser, like one or the other. Takes me back to playing The Sims 1 back in the summer of 03 while it was pouring rain outside. That sounds nice. <laughs> that sounds nice. I do love being cozy inside while it's like raining or snowing outside and like getting to just like chill out and play a video game. Um, I feel like. Maybe... Oh, that's not it. Where is the one I'm thinking of? I think... Do we have, like, the the cold metal prison bed? <laughs> Recolor it to, like, a... Like this? Or is there a... Just, like, the white? Or the... The black? <laughs> Hi, Teacup! How are you? How are you doing? Um, oh, this song is in the herbs on DS2. Plays in the doctor's office. Oh, interesting. Also, welcome back, Bex. Was your nutting okay? <laughs> but of course. But of course. Of course, of course. I don't know what... I guess you could just have a random bedding that matches the room. For each one. I'm so sleepy. So, so sleepy. That's how I felt yesterday. I ended up after stream... I ended stream a little after five, I think it was. I think it was almost six. I had dinner, and then I went ahead and just laid in bed. <laughs> and I ended up just like messing around on my phone and then just trying to make myself go to sleep early. Yes, I love the I love the music. Very cozy. I have some of the Sims 1 tracks put in, so it's that makes it extra. There we go. We got like an orange. It doesn't really it's not the right orange. 
but it works. Welcome back, wizard. Welcome, welcome. Yesterday, everyone was tired. That's so weird. What's up with the with the this? Oh, <laughs> I'm so nutred too. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I was just exhausted. I feel better today. I'm hoping that I don't crash. Creamsicle room, true. Raining where I am, and I'm eating vegetable soup. I'm also cramping, so I need this. Oh no. I know the I know the feel. But veggie soup sounds yummy. I was thinking about I haven't had a grilled cheese with like tomato soup on the side for a while. Like that sounds yummy. I may need to make myself a grilled cheese. I was staying away from cheese while I was having my stomach issues before I was on the medicine that I'm on now. But now I'm more safe to have it every once in a while. I've never liked tomato soup. Interesting. I only like it with something I can dip it dip in it. I don't know what bedding I want. <laughs> I'm caring too much about the bedding. It's like it doesn't even matter. We might not even see it. I think I might do like I think I think I'm changing my mind about this. What about this one? I don't like how it cuts into the wall by default and like I could alt like place it off grid, but that's too much work for just plopping down a random Um I'm just gonna do like a generic one that everybody has. And then if our specific sim that moves in can have their own custom bedding. Like it doesn't really matter. You know? I just gotta decide on one. Bum, 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 bum. I'm an absolute tomato hater. I also never liked tomato soup. It's gross. Interesting. I, l I love my tomatoes. I always grow way too many tomatoes in my garden. And then um, I end up with a massive mess of tomatoes in my garden <laughs> that I don't do anything with. I always have big plans and then I never follow through in the big plans. But I, I really enjoy fresh tomato out of the garden. Even pizza I have to have without the sauce. Interesting. Now I. I do love a sauceless pizza. My favorite kind of pizza of all time is like a, like a, a sauceless olive oil and like herb, herb, whatever you want to say, pizza. I do love that. Um, today was my brother's B day, so I'm eating potato salad and microwave sausages. That sounds yummy. I like basil pesto sauce on pizza. That sounds yummy too. Um, I was traumatized by a chef at, my, at a pizza party once who force-fed me her pizza sauce. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. There are very good sauceless pizzas out there. I lo I do... My favorite... Like I said, my favorite one out there is like that, so... At least there's plenty of options. <laughs> at least there's plenty of options for non-sauce. At least we're, at least around here there are. It's glorified cheesy bread. <laughs> there was this type of frozen pizza that I got. I wasn't the one that bought it. Somebody else in the household bought it, but then they didn't want it, so they let me have it. And, um, I think I'm just gonna randomly, like, flop some of these around. I feel like, what if... Should I, should I have desks in here, or should I, like, make them... Like, maybe in here is, like, the study room, and there's, like, desks for them to use. I don't know. But, uh... I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. I was gonna say something else. We were talking about the pizza. And oh yeah, I got a frozen pizza. It was the frozen pizza. It, it, I put it in. I didn't think anything of it. It was a sauceless frozen pizza. I put it in and I took it back out when it, when it was done and I took it out. It was, there was like a couple of grains of cheese on it. The cheese was like a white, really white cheese. So you couldn't tell when it was frozen until it was cooked. It was just a giant slab of dough. With, it's like the, it's like their machine broke or something at the factory, and they just like spit a couple of little tiny daubs of cheese. It was just I just baked a big giant thing of pizza dough without realizing it with nothing on it. <laughs> I was like, "What is this? Why?" I ended up still having it with <laughs> some uh, marinara sauce, <laughs> but it was kind of lame. It was kind of extremely lame. <laughs> it was like this is not what it, what was supposed to happen. Yeah, it was weird. Giorno pizza with stuffed crust. I'm not a huge fan of the stuffed crust. 
it gets like I'm not a big like lots of cheese fan like I like a little cheese it depends on the cheese though yeah no quality it was a really cheapo pizza that I probably wouldn't have bought personally so yeah I don't know, these are just kind of, I think the dorm rooms are going to be kind of empty because I feel like the, whoever moves in is going to make it their own, you know? I feel like that's just how it's going to work. I'm just going to check because there's a, been a couple of missed walls, but it looks okay. I could just put lights in here, though. I don't know what kind of lights I should have. I feel like I just want to do an above headlight to make it simple. Like this. I also got to do this um, other bathroom. I just got to do a copy-paste. I'm just going to throw some of these down for now, and then they can kind of fill in whatever. It's just enough for the dormies that live there to not pass away, you know? Um, <laughs> like a, a chicken finger pizza with wing sauce base. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever had that. I'm a very simple with pizza. I don't like having lots of toppings, usually. Our bathroom went, like, really hard, and then everything else is, like, empty, but that's just how it has to be. That's just how it has to be. I'm gonna do this. I think I set those correctly. Um, what did I put? Oh, that's right. I put a big bright one of these. Maybe we'll put a different color. This is my favorite colorful white to hide. I like hiding it in the wall, because like if you turn snapping off sometimes there's situations where you can like hide it in the wall like that and you don't see it at all and it still shines out um and it's like the brightest like strongest colored light i find in the game personally i use it a lot for like special builds and things put those around don's hot tub every time very nice <laughs> that's cool yeah i love the colored light in this game especially with the mods that help it be more powerful. Did I not? Did I put? Oh, I did put the wind, the mirrors along the wall. I, for a second, I thought I didn't put the mirrors. Yeah, we're just gonna do a copy paste, except maybe a little bit different colors for the lights. Um, my work makes a pickle and honey pizza abomination. That sounds weird. That sounds strange. I like pickle on pizza, pizza, but that combo, yeah, the honey, like not even like honey barbecue, just honey. That's weird. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could see like the, the salty sweet situation, but it feels weird. Anything is good on pizza, as long as the combo isn't says. <laughs> I think the honey is like chili flakes or something in it. Ah. That's weird. Yeah, I'd probably give it a try, but... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh. My nut dish friend. <laughs> My Swedish friend said they have curry and banana on pizzas over there. Curry and banana. Huh. That's interesting. I've never had curry before. I've heard very good things about it, but there's not like Indian places around here. We have very, we have very, we have a McDonald's, a pizza place, and like three Chinese places. <laughs> but that's it. Um, let me turn the lights off so I can kind of see what lights I'm putting down. Yeah, I've heard it's very good, but I've never, I've never had it. I've heard it has a very strong smell. But yeah, I've also heard a lot of people say Indian food's very good. I don't know that there's any available around here. I guess I could just do the green color. This one feels like it doesn't put off a lot of color, doesn't it? It kind of just looks like it's regular lighting. I don't know. Maybe I need to go with, like, all purpley pink. I think the yellow light just kind of dulls it. There we go. 
That's a little better. We're comforting and tasty and delicious. We live near a ton of ethnic food. Ah. Mexican, Indian. We do. We did, used to have a Mexican place. Mexican is super common. Pretty much anywhere in the United States anyway. Jamaican, Ecuadorian, Asian. That sounds cool. I do know that there's a place like a couple hours south that's Japanese that I'd love to go have like a proper bowl of like ramen or something there. I've never been. Um, I feel like people's creativity really has a chance to shine when it comes to pizza. <laughs> True. I feel like a blob every time I eat Indian foods. Oh yeah, maybe, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I we don't have uh, a proper ramen here. Interesting. Yeah, I've never, um, I've never had like a, a true ramen, only like a homemade version of whatever I see, <laughs> like following recipes and stuff. But I've never had like gone to a proper professional place. Um, Mexican your fave. Okay, New Jersey has a lot of Mexicans, so we have good Mexican food. Very nice. Yeah, we have the one, the one pizza place that, well, there's technically two, but one of them's like in a different state because it's across the border. So it's like more annoying to go to And Vermont has more like tax on stuff than, than New Hampshire does. But like there's there, the pizza place that we had was nice because it was owned by this local family that um, I went to school with their kids and they were all Greek. And, like they all would over the summer like he would always I remember one of the kids I went to school with like I knew he used to they used to go live in Greece for like the summer and then they'd like come home for the rest of the year and stuff and like their food was really good at that place um and then they sold it and now it's by owned by some different people and the food's just not the same at all so that's unfortunate <laughs> like it's still pizza and it's fine but it's like not the same Today is payday. Well, there you go. <laughs> I, I could eat. Yeah, ramen was my comfort food when my stomach was at its worst. I ate like ramen for like two, at least two meals a day. <laughs> I haven't, I think because I ate so much of it at that point, I stopped eating it for a while. But I probably, now that it's cold out, I'm probably going to get back into the ramen. I just make my own ramen at home because it'd be a pricey meal. Interesting. I didn't know it's like a pricey. I guess I think of ramen as like the cheap option for making your own, you know? Well, I guess I could see fancy ramen being, um, being good, being expensive, also good. <laughs> I love some Greek right now, <laughs> but my husband got Taco Bell instead. Interesting. I've never, I don't know if I've ever had Taco Bell. I've heard it's kind of weird. <laughs> I've heard it's like, it's, it's not, it's like people seem to be really crazy about Taco Bell, but also say it's like horrific <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> um... My city has a place called Ramen Bar, and they have a curry ramen. Ooh. A two-for-one for you, Sam. Yeah, I guess so. I make noodles with meat and veggies. Very yum. That sounds yummy. I nut noodles <laughs> with nut and veggies. Very yum. <laughs> Not the nutting noodles. Um, I personally hate going out to eat Italian food. It's just not great compared to my mom's cooking. Ah. Why am I going to play subpar Italian when I... Yeah, that's that's a good point. Yeah, that's like there's this local place. One of this one of the other sort of local restaurants around here is like a truck stop, <laughs> which sounds weird, but like um the 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 truck stop food is like usually very good, but it's all just like home stuff, like grilled cheese. It's like a really good grilled cheese, but I don't need to go buy a grilled cheese or a burger. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for the cowboy saw. Taco Bell is basically a laxative, but damn does it taste good. That's funny. <laughs> Taco Bell is the same four ingredients, just a different configuration. Ground beef. <laughs> the ground beef is like dog food. Oh god. Taco Bell is the same ingredients, just diff nut trent configurations. The ground beef is like nut nut. <laughs> but drunk? Amazing. Yeah, I feel like if you're, you just are hungry and need some food, Taco Bell would be what you'd, you'd want. I feel like we need one of these bad boys slapped up in here. I don't know what's going to be in here. Maybe we just need like a big row of seats or like stuff to do. Like what do we put in the hallways? Like we have some space here. Maybe like what kind of activities? Like maybe studying stuff. Maybe I'll wait until I finish the other rooms. 
like piano? Can I have like... Do I still have piano recolors? I do. I have like a piano chilling out here. Somewhere. I don't know where to put it. I kind of want to center it in one of these big windows. Just have stuff for the Sims to do. We could have some bongos. That's that's always fun to have some bongos just like chilling somewhere. <laughs> Ideal inebriated food. <laughs> I don't know where to put these. Maybe I'll wait, because I, I just feel like they're floating in space. Somebody's going to be on this 24-7 and annoying the heck out of me. Hmm. University folder, that's true. I could look... We, didn't, we had a little bit of limited options with some of the stuff. We could stuff these around. These are just decor. Are there any other fun, like, activities like that that could go here? I guess maybe maybe we could put the Maishuno. Maybe the Maishuno should be out here somewhere. Or a pool table. There's a space for a pool table. They're probably going to be bumping off of each other as they're walking by. Is this Maishuno? Oh, that's Ma Mahjong Mahong. Don't wake the llama. I don't know which one's technically the Maishuno table. Uh, or also... Oh, this is the strip poker, not the strip poker. <laughs> we have poker. I don't know if we want everybody, all our sims losing their money constantly. Arson Nutlow would definitely play the bongos. True. I think I'll do this one. I feel like I have to, like, plop a couple things down and then, like, decorate around the major pieces of stuff. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, I need to find a find a structure for the room when it's just like a big open walkway like this. Um, Hi, Insanity Fly. Sims 2, one of the best games ever made. I, I would say so. <laughs> I think probably most of the folks in chat here would also agree to that. <laughs> I think, I think. We're decorating a little dorm right now for our custom hood. Ooh, maybe like some basic chairs like these. See, I wish that they had been able to... So, like, these have the things, almost like in The Sims 3, where the chairs snap to the to the table. Right? So when you move the table, it moves. See, those two didn't snap in correctly. There we go. Uh-oh, they accidentally... I wish they had figured out how to make this work for, like, all tables. Now they all move together. Because that's something that happens in The Sims 3, but doesn't necessarily happen in this... Dish game. I guess that works. I almost hate how they blend in, but... Here, what if we have black and white chairs? We'll have some black, some white. Sure. That's a little activity. Those are things happening. I have to go for a bit. Enjoy the rest of the... <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the build. Everyone be good. At Crystal Beth. <laughs> okay, Kobe. A little shade toward Crystal Beth over there. <laughs> Crystal's been real quiet since Comey called them out. <laughs> Crystal's been real quiet. Also, nope, have a have a good one, Comey. <laughs> Goodbye. Crystal's been real quiet. <laughs> um Maybe I'll keep with the same theme. Oh, we also have these benches. We just had some benches. Um, chest table by window, true. Do I want another chest table? Or is there like another activity? Painting? I feel like I wish I wish there was like a better spot for painting. Like the, we could have multiple painting spots. Like we have paint I feel like there could be outside painting. Like they're painting the desert. I have I have all these custom paints. Um, custom easels that I downloaded. Look at this one. There's this one. This one I like. This one's also good. They're all very good. Uh-oh, I think those sausages aren't agreeing with me. Uh-oh. Womp womp womp. I hope, I hope you survive the sausages. <laughs> I'm gonna go study, but I'll keep this up in my background entertainment. Okay, teacup. 
Thank you for hanging out. Thank you, and the lurkins. Oh, look at how fancy this is. This feels like a good indoor one, maybe. Maybe they have some indoor painting. Hmm. Maybe they're painting the outside from inside. Maybe. I'm just gonna redeem that, Danny. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> I have fast fingies. Only one color. Hmm. I don't know. I'm having a hard time with this area. Maybe I'll move on to a different spot and come back. I'm gonna move on and do the kitchen. That's, that's an easy one because we know what needs to be here. I feel like I could get away with getting rid of this door to have more space for, like, metal. It's looking very... Looking very metal, you know? <laughs> like, you know. Like, like, you know? You know? Um, this one looks fancy. Well, this one's also fancy. That one kind of matches. And then I need the shiny time. I wish that they matched better. <laughs> They're all different. Why's it gotta be all different? Hmm. Maybe I need different stuff. I got recolors. White works, technically. I suppose. Um, and then I have to make sure, like, I have these. I feel like I should have a half wall in this area, too, somewhere. I can have, like, a bunch of these. Is that... Maybe I shouldn't have a half wall. But it makes sense to have four. I don't know, usually they have, like, four, I think. I think that would make some sense. Maybe I'll just put them over this way. I hate how that one's like inside of the wall. I think that'd work. That would be a little bit more free flow. Free flow moment. Sometimes I do like to still use half walls on, on counter areas. Uh oh, they want you to clean up dishes. Okay, have, have fun doing the cleaning up. I feel like I could get away with, like... Ooh, there could be, like, they have to walk in this way. <laughs> that might be too long of a chunk. We gotta make sure we have enough space for sitting, though. That's kind of weird. I definitely don't want them to, like, get in the way of, like, other sims coming and going. Something like that. Um, I was showing a friend pics of me from 2017, 2023, and they were like, You just got progressively gayer. <laughs> I'm so flattered. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. I was looking at my... Um driver's license the other day I had to take it out for something and it's like because when my when my most recent like renewal came up it was right during the like the beginning of the pandemic and everything was shut down so I couldn't um I couldn't like uh go and get my picture taken so I had to just let them renew like refresh it so it's like an old picture and I was looking at it, I'm just like, it doesn't even look like me in the picture. <laughs> like, the, the people, I'm so afraid that one day I'm gonna have to, like, show ID, and I haven't been able to get it updated, and it'll just be this really old picture of me. <laughs> like, they're not gonna believe me. They're not gonna think it's me. Also, hi, Indigo Star. I uh, hope you okay. I had a busy day, feeling drained. Oh, no. And now be able to go to bed and watch your live till I fall asleep. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad, I'm glad to... 
that you got to find some comfort from our, our silly little stream. Our, our stream's very chill today. It is. So that's, that's a good thing. Maybe I'll put this guy over here. We'll do that. Because we're doing lots of building. That's pretty much all we're doing is building and then probably watching like a machinima. That's, that's, that's it. Um... I feel like I want something on the wall. Oh yeah, this is like a little alien with a piece of sandwich. A piece of sand- a sandwich. A piece of sandwich? The household I'm playing in has only one square of space at the top of the stairs. And routing is driving me insane. I don't want to renovate, but I can't handle it. Oh no. <laughs> My husband has an updated ID. But he shaved his head, so now- <laughs> So I don't know how that'll work, yeah. That's I, that's my, my hair in my ID is from when I'm like 21. I think it was when I updated when I was 20. When I turned 21, they make you update the the because in our state it's like if you're under 21, your driver's license is vertical, and then when you turn 21, it turns horizontal. I think we had to like update it then, and it's me with I have I have blunt bangs and shoulder length hair, <laughs> which I can't even like. That just doesn't even sound like a hairdo that I would have. But I have like, I have like chunk blunt butt bangs and like long hair. <laughs> um, when my stepbrother came out, he gave my mom a whole paragraph of how he was sorry and how nothing changed. Unknown to him, he already knew. Oh, <laughs> she, yeah. I, I wish I could find, I could find a way to share the picture, but obviously I don't want to like dox myself by accident. Same with ours, but you were new at 25. Yeah, I'm... okay. It's so silly because some places will deny you alcohol with a vertical license. Oh, I see. They just want you to have to fork over 70 more bucks. I get that. Yeah, the same sideways thing. <laughs> Strange Aeon vibes. Um... We are so close, and uh, we are so behind anything does we he does in life and personal. Oh, okay. Okay, so I guess do I need a sink? If we have, do we need a sink in this? I don't know if we need a sink. Can I get like a food processor? Is are they would they use a food pro? Maybe a hmm. And like a little food processor, I guess. Also, I need to make sure I get the sprinkler. I assume it's... Is it with... Is the sprinkler in here somewhere? Or is it... In like the plumbing or something? I don't actually know where those spring... Oh, right here. Here we go. Do that. <laughs> yeah, I think I've, I've watched their stuff before. I think I've watched that. I don't know. I don't know if how to exactly pronounce their their name, <laughs> but yet. Yeah. Show us your old idea and then show us the, the funny numbers on the front and the back of your credit card. Yeah. <laughs> and show us your social security card while you're at it. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Hey, thanks. I'm worried about the one tile walkthrough here. I probably should just do this. Um, and then we need like a big place for folks to sit. So how many dorm rooms did I do? I did eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need at least eight seats for like a table for them to eat at. Yeah, I've seen their I've seen I haven't watched their videos in a long time. But I think I have seen some of their stuff with the Tumblr deep dives. Mm. There might be... I, I kind of wish this room was like a little bit bigger. Maybe I could... Maybe I could take this wall out, make it more flat, or even bump it outward or something. Or like... Oops. Do something like this and then get rid of... We'll just have plenty of like moving around room. So this is going to be a very heavily trafficked area of the house, of the dorm. Hmm. 
think that'd be good. Oops, that's not what I meant, but... Um, I followed them on Tumblr for two seconds and my Dash recommended was full of long Furby content, so I unfollowed. That's funny. <laughs> there we go. Um, okay. I guess I'll do more of these little ones. Oops. There we go. Furby, my beloved. Thank you for the lurk, comrade. Hello, hello. Uh, I have so many routing issues in the goth house. I finally started adding a second floor on the master bedroom on the other side of the hallway near the bathrooms, and it helped a lot. Okay. Routing issues in the goth house. I finally started adding a second second door to the master bedroom. Okay, I think I know near the bathrooms. I think I know what you mean. <laughs> I can envision the goth house. I know, I know that one well. Okay, we'll kind of line it up with this window, I guess. And we can do that, and then we'll do a little copy-paste. Hmm, we won't have the end, we'll just have these. Well, that's only six, though. Well, I mean, maybe not everybody will be eating together all the time, right? Do I, should I have more than six seats? I, I could try. Hmm. Or should I, maybe I should have like a bunch of little seats. Like little tables. Like I could do... Not those. I was thinking like these. This style. I don't know what color I'd want. I don't like how this isn't true black. It's got like a little green. I guess I could just use these. I know, they do. It, it annoys me a little bit. Like it technically matches. The other. Th oh. I was thinking about maybe using a different chair. That was the thing that bothered me with this, because, like, they technically match so nicely, but... I might use... Maybe I'll use the white ones out here, and then in here I could use something different. I'll center these... somehow. I don't know. Um, I do also, before I go... Let me... I want to make, like, a little area here. I guess I'll just have to deal with it going into the window like that. Do like this with like dishwashers over here that the students can use. Maybe we'll get rid of like a couple of these. And then also maybe like um coffee maker. Coffee maker, maybe like a microwave. I don't know if I like that one. Or like one of these guys just like stuff for them to use while while the person who makes their usual stuff isn't here i don't know how i want their layout to be because if i if i were to do just just like two chairs per table we could try and make that work somehow um i was thinking i could use i could use like this or you have some fun pops of color, or I could- ooh, this one's good, pretty good. You have the cow print chairs, which are pretty great. A little cow print moment. I wish I had like a solid black recolor for this. There's probably one out there. The wood isn't terrible either. I guess I don't mind that. Hmm. Let me just look at some of the tables too. I'm being fussy. Yeah, I love the heart chairs. They're great. These are the- some- it's so funny, whenever I use these, everybody's like, where did they come from? Where did they come from? Which they do come from- I think I got them off of Mad Rain. Their, um, Tumblr. Um, which actually I think they popped in here the other- yesterday? I think it was? Um, 
<laughs> at TSR. <laughs> no. But um they can they did they were from Sims Online originally. Or free Sims Online. <laughs> I got mine off the Sims nut source. <laughs> I love that. I got mine off the Sims resource. Oh you did? Maybe they Maybe there is a download on there. Maybe I'm mistaken. I think you because I go through like the Tumblr. They have it posted on Tumblr. And then um maybe they maybe there is. I forget. There's someone named Dot. Interesting. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that butt spot moment because I like that. Maybe we need to make our own custom content site called the Nut Source. <laughs> we need just a website called the Wait, we that needs to be the name of like one of the lots, the Nut Source. Like may, should that be like the coffee shop? The Nut Source? <laughs> That'd be great. Maybe they still- yeah, I don't know. Or so, or somebody also converted it? I- I really don't like how this cuts into here. Like, I cannot see- I can't unsee it. But I think I'm gonna have to. Maybe I could move them over one square. There we go. I keep wanting to line them up with the windows, but it's not gonna work. I think there's gonna be issues if the chair is right here. Isn't there? I don't think they'll build to get in, but I might be wrong. Nut bucks. <laughs> nut bucks is good. Maybe all the names of the lots just need to be the word like nut squished into like a regular like instead of the dormitory, it's the nutatory. You know? Yeah, we can do this sort of thing. I guess this technically works. That gives us eight. I don't know. <laughs> what are they called in game? Let's see. Sir Six Sir Sits a lot chair. Where where did it go? Over here. Sir oh, Sir Lax a lot dinette chair. Um yeah, the, from the Sims and Free SL recreated by Malika converted by Mad Rain. Mad Raid Sims Tumblr.com. Yeah, I got him off of the Tumblr one. Um yeah, Mad Rain has a ton of really cool stuff on there. They also kind of catalog other converted stuff, but yeah, I got- I think it was through their site that I downloaded a bunch of stuff converted from Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is really cool too. Yeah, they're great. My favorite swatch is the cow print swatch. It's top tier swatch. Maybe we need like a little thing here, like maybe a plant or something. And maybe they're slightly- I mean like, it's possible that people- two people have the same idea you know, and converted it. Oh yeah, three, two, three, and four. Okay, that sounds oh, that sounds familiar. I should make sure I have them in The Sims Three too. I haven't played The Sims Three in a while. I feel like I always say that we, we play The Sims Three and then we forget about it for a month, and then we play it again, and then we forget about it for a month. Hmm. Also, I'm supposed to roll a stupid ads. I'm gonna roll a dumb ad. Sorry, folks. It'll make the ad- the pre-rolls go away. Make the pre-rolls- I don't know, I set up- hopefully the ads are not all screwed up, because I thought I had set up like a, a auto-ad thing. I'll have to look at it. Okay, let's put like a little hanging plant. That seems like the place where hanging plants would want to be. Maybe in this corner? Gotta keep them out of reach of the gremlins. Yeah, it's a huge plant. <laughs> the lag, couldn't take it. Uh, as soon as I started playing The Sims this summer, I stopped playing The Sims 3. I get that. Yeah, the lag is hard to get either to manage or get rid of. I like that. That's kind of nice. It's a good fake plant. You know, we'll say it's fake plant. We need anything else in this zone? I feel like this is just big and empty, but it might be good. Like, it's good to have a little bit of a, a negative space, you know, empty space. I feel like I want this over here now. And I want another one of the, the go-to lights. And maybe some lights above each of these. Okay, cool. So I got an ad for Red Bull and hemorrhoids. 
<laughs> that sounds that sounds like an interesting combo. That sounds like a fun, you know, just in case you got both going on, I guess. You never know. <laughs> you never know. There we go. That kind of that's kind of cool. Is that too much? Is that overkill? I don't know. Let me turn the lights back on. Maybe I'll put a couple of little decorative things here, like little little stuffs, little stuffs and things. I have like a little little pancake mix chilling on the counter. Um maybe some pots and pans somewhere, like these guys. These could just be like hanging here. Gives it a little bit more of like a separation from the rest of the room too. That's kind of fun. I'm worried that, well I guess these are going to scooch in and this won't be so tight of a space, but it feels like because we're closer here than here, that's what I'm seeing. But I don't know. I don't know if it matters. We'll be okay. Well, I'm glad we got our kitchen out of the way. Our kitchen's in function. So I think this should be like a study zone. Um, we definitely need lots of bookcases. Mm, I like these. Or, ooh, you know what's fun? There's also... The other option... Is we can make like a centerpiece. Now, I forget, there's two versions. There's one... I think this is the one I want. Here's the here's the vision. I might need to move it over. Um Yeah, I was thinking because there's these end pieces. That are made to make it like a little round piece. I don't know, that might be too big. I might need to only do one wide. Or I could bring it like a step. Oops. The way they're just like lying all over the place. Be kinda neat. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. Welcome back, Danny. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I thought that was butt spot doing oh butt. Wait, how do you redeem free streamer subscription with Amazon Prime? I think um, you can go to... Well, actually, that link up on the... Um, I don't know if you still see. I can do another... Let me tell it to... There should be a the Amazon... That, that link that I have in the thing, twitch.amazon.com slash prime. I think if you have an Amazon Prime, um, it should route you through that, I think. If not, I can try and figure out how through that. But um, yeah, it lets you like redeem one, one per like to one person. Yeah. Oh, you can choose to sub with a Prime. I do have Prime, and I click the link, but I'm not seeing anything for Twitch. Okay, interesting. Um, that's weird. Maybe, yeah, there might be, maybe there's a thing where you have to link your, like, in your Amazon settings, if you have to, like, link your Twitch to it, or you have to, or in the Twitch settings, you have to link the, the Prime to it, or, or your Amazon to it. I don't, I'm not sure. I think I've had mine linked for such a long time that I forget how to do it. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that, that might be, we'll let it know. Yeah, I, I uploaded a, I, I think I mentioned it earlier, a specific, different, uh, there's a different alert now for, for the, the Prime girlies. <laughs> when I click subscribe, there's an option at the bottom that says, do you want to use your Prime sub? Oh, okay. The thing that annoys me about it is that you can't have it renew automatically. Yeah, I've heard that before. But that's annoying. I think I'm going to do more of these. Maybe we'll do what other... I don't really love all the other colors. That yellow... I don't think I'll use only yellow, but I'm just going to put all of them all the way across, then I'll play with the colors after. I'll 
what if I did something like this? Since I rarely am able to make streams, I hope it didn't see an ad. Oh no. Oh no. Hi, <laughs> Bug Girl. Yeah, that's true. Red would match, like, the books. We could do a... I did a pink on the other side, so we could do some... I might do more than one color. I like doing a mix of different colors. But what if we did, like, some primary... Some primaries. Although, green, I don't think green's a primary. We could do blue. That's kind of fun. A little primary color moment. <laughs> I do like this song, too. You have pictures or a debit card? I've never heard of that. Wait. Wait, regarding the oh, regarding the earlier conversation, I have still have old pics of me on my debit card in my bike license. Both are from before I found out I'm trans. I look like a nerd. Oh my goodness. Also, yeah, pictures on debit card. That's intriguing. I've never heard of that either. Is it is it, is it like an official like ID picture or is it like because I've seen the credit cards and debit cards where you can just put your own picture like printed on it? Is it like a decorative picture? Um, I've seen that before. Oh, for identification. Why did I say like identification? Yeah, that's interesting. My other option would be, you know what I might, hmm. See, what I don't love about this bookcase is like, see these random things? Like a little, they look like, they look, it looks like a home. Because there's also the empty option. Alright, and then I have... Where are they? I have these books. That could technically get like, put in here. I kind of like that a little bit better. They might technically be floating, but you can't tell. Um. <laughs> Wait, get a custom Vidkin printed credit card. I know it, I could show you guys all the pictures of my Vid Vidkin credit card. You know, you get to see all the numbers and everything. <laughs> um, shut up on my main screen when I loaded the game a lot. Oh, this song, yes. <laughs> I could even put, ooh, I could even, yeah, I could have them on the top too. These little encyclopedias. Oh, why did they change color like that? I think they're technically like cut in. Yes, do it. I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, are y'all gonna steal my all my money? I'm gonna rack up my credit card debt? But I, I don't actually have any credit card debt. I don't actually own a credit card. This. Oh, there was a duplicate. That's okay. Not responsible. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm a uh, good today's payday. There you go. <laughs> I did it. I just had a <laughs> had to reload Twitch. Okay, there we go. This is the prime thing. It's too bad it didn't didn't go through. Didn't show up on my end, unfortunately. That's too bad. We have a super fun. I have a new uh, Twitch uh, Prime sub uh, alert. <laughs> I bet I could force it to do a do a, a test one. Oh, the Prime subs. Yeah, they're. They're different. Oh, your resubs don't seem to pop up either? That's weird. Because I've seen it before that there's special... Because I've seen it pop up before. Maybe it's delayed or, or Twitch just hate... Yeah. I mean, I've seen it before where it pops up and you can choose to send it through as an alert or not. Like, it's like you can do it silently or you can choose it. Um... But yeah, but anyway, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jetta. <laughs> for the sub. That's uh I think you can specify it's prime sub on your alerts. Yeah. Yeah, I have here, can I, I I bet I can do a test one. I did a special song for it. I I posted a special song for it. Let's see, where content? Where did where was it? 
settings. Oh, alerts. Edit alerts. Okay, we're gonna we'll do a we'll do a false. I think can I do a test one? What did one ocean say to the other ocean? Uh oh, it's gonna give Nothing. us a fake test. It's just wave. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is it <laughs> that was loud let me adjust it why is it so loud where's the setting let me turn it down just a little bit here i'll play i'll play it again to just to test it this is 30 percent loud it's a little bit better there you go Born too go. late to explore the Earth. Okay, Born stop. too early to explore space. Born yeah, just that's in the, time to spam the Rasputin, Rasputin song <clears throat> mashed up with the, the Bo Burnham song, yeah. <laughs> still, still a little loud? Okay. Let me see, I can tweak it just a little bit. <clears throat> it's weird because it's the same setting as my other... Let's see... Prime... Let me bump it down to like 20. I'll try, I'll just save change. I won't play it again. <laughs> ah, there we go. I, got, I started coughing. <clears throat> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Let me see if I can put all these books on a shelf without getting myself all distracted again. I'm trying to make them look random enough. We'll have some gaps. We can have a cut. We have some gaps, or maybe like. Oh, that looks neat. It's like overlaid. Okay. <clears throat> Hit the apple on top of this. Like, like, why do we need an apple sitting there? Like, I get it, but also like, I'm not a fan. I feel like just these little squat books will be good. Rotten apple. Rotten apple. <laughs> Let me just do that. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm... Oh, I can make this one empty too. But I think most of these are too big. She's too wide. I have to do this. Oh, I got these though. That's that's okay. I think I'll have to turn off snapping, make it work. There we go. It's waking. It's waking. <laughs> Who the hell reading these books? Nerds and losers. Nerds and losers and smart folk. Okay, and then we'll just do this. I think these, these just like look so much brighter and nicer, you know? I'm gonna go back to using this, this snapping though because I was did it on the other side, so. Okay, we'll do, we'll do some encyclopedias. Speedrun book placement. Speedrun book placement. <laughs> I'm too busy partying and smoking weed and kissing girls to read books. <laughs> you know. You know. Hi, Luke Pix. <laughs> How are you? Tile grids are for the weak. Yes. Yes, yes. There we go. We got, we got a whole bunch of stuff. I <laughs> shall boy kiss her, me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you boys. Save game. Thank you. That's a good reminder. Especially in the building times. And the times of the building. In the times of building happening. <laughs> 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 
It's not a boy kisser club, boy kisser. Boys are icky, they have cooties. <laughs> but we'll, we'll have one club will be the boy kissers, and the other club is... Uh, the boy haters. <laughs> the unkissers. Put a couple of these. I'll leave a little gap. There we go. That looks nice. I'm not moving that for anything. It's gonna have to stay there because if I if I decide I don't want this here, it's gonna take ten years to move it over a square. <laughs> Just a boy or two in my time. <laughs> oh yes, the, the kiss the two genders, boy boy kisser and boy hater. <laughs> I don't want cooties. I hear it's deadly. Ew, boys! I literally have a boy a date with a boy after work. <laughs> uh, you know the heat wave Taylor Swift and her fans were experiencing down in Rio. That's the kind of uh, what I've been experiencing lately. Oh no! I'm sorry, Luke. That sucks. That sucks. I did hear about that. That was rough. I guess I'll put some. I'll throw some professional desks in here. Very professional looking desk. Kind of wanted more than just three computers, but I guess we're gonna have to go with it. <laughs> I'm married to a boy and confirmed boys are gross. <laughs> are the boys invisible? Good question. <laughs> I don't have an answer for you. Um, other than that, I have glass door replacements. What privacy? I know the, every student here uh, signs a form. They sign like a consent form to allow Vidkin to study them at all times. They are the lab rats. Vidkin, the whole purpose, the whole purpose of this uh, university is for Vidkin to study the creatures that are Calicundians. You know? So he needs to make sure he can watch them at all times. <laughs> That's the purpose. You know? It's pretty, you know, it's really, I mean, it's not that bad if you think about it, or maybe if you don't think about it. You know? <laughs> you know? Look at this. Uh oh, I hear an olive oil bark. That's why tuition is free. <laughs> you literally watch a TV show on that premise. Interesting. <laughs> Your lore cracks me up. We have the, we have some fun lore around here. <laughs> I can let Vidkin study me well. Yes, <laughs> not this. Not the not the horny for Vidkin crew <laughs> coming on in, being like, yes, Vidkin. <laughs> I just got a vision of somebody just... There's somebody who... Now, which Calicundian is the most crazy about Vidkin that would want to go to this university and be studied by Vidkin? I'm not sure which one would be the Vidkin fan. But whoever it is, they're just gonna... Vidkin's gonna be doing his rounds. He's gonna be going from door to door taking notes. And there's just gonna be one just standing in the middle of the room naked, just staring out the door, waiting for Vidkin to show up. That's gonna be Thicky Bunny. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's gonna be whoever's a fan <laughs> of the Vidkin. Vidkin cultist from the college, yeah. There you go. Uh, I don't pull anyone because I'm ugly, no. <laughs> the There was that guy from your Verona, but yeah, yeah, fake Vidkin, the Vidkin cultist. Vidkin cultist. Um, I don't know what kind of computers we're going to have in here. Maybe like these fancy pantsy ones. Oh my god, Olive shook and just shook the whole room. Like, my whole- my computer just... shook. <laughs> but I'm very a -row, so there you go. Mm -hmm. I don't know what computers I want. I'm being fussy. Why are these- how are these two any different? I think these are the same computer. Uh, one's hacked and one's not. Who do the hacked ones? One powerful doggy. So you dropped your massive green glasses on me. <laughs> olive quake. It's an olive quake. <laughs> I just remembered I have I have chips. I might crunch on some chips. They're Fritos. It's gonna be very loud. Oh, 
Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. <laughs> Free to equal doggy feet smell, yes. That's <laughs> the SpongeBob Cockroach. <laughs> that's, that's the I'm eating thing. <laughs> that's what happens when I'm eating. Um, what should I like put on the desk? Oops. Oh, wait. I guess like this stuff. This feels too official. Like the. Like, putting a bunch of dormies in, in charge of that, like, that's gonna be a mess. They're gonna lose the, the hole punch. They're gonna be no tape. They're gonna use the tape for their dumb projects. I guess we'll just put them anyway. <laughs> yeah, I anamorph, I anamorph into a roach when I'm eating. <laughs> yeah. I need a, I need like a little book, little pile of books. Oh, here's a book. That's a, like a book on gardening, I guess. What's what's in front of me? Oh. I'm gonna take their eyelids to their eyebrows. Everything will be suspended in jello. Yeah, exactly. I got another book. <laughs> we also haven't put another one of these around. I'll put one in here. They must be reminded of their patriotism to the vidkin. Maybe somebody leaves their little little food here. There, there's some cereal. Somebody left their cereal sitting there. I could put some fun stuff up here too. Somebody left their their milk and eggs out. Their spray can. We have some. There's some of these going on. I don't know, like, what else I should put on here, if, if much of anything. Bum, 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 bum. I thought I had, like, a little can. Here we go, an opened, here we go, an opened box. Oh, I picked it up for a second there. Here we go, we got some, some snackies. Yeah, that's true, I could add clutter if I'm playing. I want some, like, pictures on the walls, though. We'll do that, at least. Ooh, we have this clock. This clock's always, like, a good go-to. Clock on the wall. Did we just have pictures of vid- Maybe we need the vidkin pictures around more. Reminders of- of who we're here for. Of our great leader. Our great leader, Vidkin. I think he's supposed to have an alien baby there. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, that's a little version. Same picture twice. No, we will put this. There we go. There we go. Fuck that tea, sis. <laughs> we can do... What's this? We'll put a couple of big, big ones. There's only one option for the big one. No, come back. There we go. Oh, we got a lot of options here. There we go. We already have... Oh, we already have this one over here. Oops. Wait. Wait. I've made a grave error. <laughs> <laughs> why, is, why are Vidkin's private pictures in buy mode? Yeah. You know what? That's his... You can't kink shame the man, you know? There we go. His family photo. There we go. We're supposed to be inspired by the man. Vidkin himself is a brand, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. I guess that works. We won't have... We just need, you know, to keep the space open here. Um, let me turn it dark and try lighting. What kind of lighting are we going for? Oh, I have. Th Let me just replace this so it lights up for me, so I get an idea of what we're doing here. Um, he made money licensing his photos. Yes. Thank you for the lurk, comrade opossum. He got thirty years to give up the generational bull cut, and he didn't. Generational trauma. True.
When in doubt, add some neon. You know? Sometimes you just gotta add a little neon. It just makes everything better. I like it, Picasso. <laughs> I guess we could just stick with the green. I feel like we need... Like, I want, like, hanging lights above these or something. Is that centered? No. Do something like that. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Hi, Kara. Hello, hello. I saw somebody say hi. Hello, Kara. I was like, where's Kara? Oh, right there. Kara, you have a different badge now. I updated the badges to cover the six months and over. So now you've got a new six months badge. It's like a gradient purple pink. It's the same little uh, spaceship, but it's just different colors. Kind of, that one's, that's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but I kind of want like a different type of light. I hope you're doing well. Hope I hope. Oh yeah, I could do like these guys. Oh, I might not have saved after the last redeem, thank you. Sometimes I get going and then I get distracted. We'll save. <laughs> yeah, got a nice little purpley one. It kind of matches the... It's almost the same gradient as the woohoo heart thing. Alright, I'm crunching. I'm crunching. I think that's fine. Um, And the last thing to do besides going upstairs and working on some of the outside stuff is some of the, the this stuff in here. Like this hallway. I feel like I could copy paste a few of these. You know, have a little bit of space filled with just more seats. I think that'd be good. <laughs> oh, good evening. Hello, Tyla. Hello, hello. How's you? Do I want this, like, in a different placement? Maybe? Like, centered with that. And if I put that up against the wall, I don't know if this chair becomes unusable or not. I'm gonna bump it out just a little, I guess. Hmm. I don't know what I want. Wall's up. Thank you. Yeah, I'm happy with how it's turning out. Oops, it's like hitting a... Uh-oh, that's coming up through the wall. It's like hitting a, a slot. There we go. A large Vidkin portrait? True. Do I have... Oh, I forgot about- wait. Thank you for that suggestion. I forgot about the- the- the premier Vidkin portrait. Where is it? This one. Uh-oh. Ooh. Doesn't fit. Where's it gonna fit? We need it somewhere. Maybe that's what needs to go here. Well, that can't fit there either. Maybe that's what should go on this wall instead. Wait, we can take these and put them down the hallway. We have the one. Oh, I have that in my bedroom. <laughs> that's that's the. There we go. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get rid of that and we'll just do one straight across. X yeah, perfect. Perfection. <laughs> I'm gonna have to delete one of the three towel windows. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. There we go. It's beautiful. 
And then these could go in here along the wall. A, a memorial of Vidkin. Wall of Kund. Sometimes you just gotta wall a little Kund, you know? I don't know if there's any other... It's hard because some of the recolors have Vidkin pictures hidden like behind them. Yeah, here's another one. Ooh, what if I did double? Another little double moment. That's cool. Look at that. That's kind of interesting. I wonder how Cersei feels about those pics. <laughs> yeah, Cersei feels... I don't know. Does Cersei have the ability to feel? Hmm. I don't know if I like this. I like the idea of like a technological thing. Where did he get those pictures of himself? Good point. Yeah, who did he hire? He like hired a a, a photographer to stand outside his house. Waiting for the moment. A Vidkin photo shoot. That's true. Maybe it's fake. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a fake. Maybe this is a studio photo. Maybe they, they just set it up in a studio. Yeah, I'm just gonna put... Oh, we also didn't do, like, workout stuff. <laughs> Deep fake is AI generated. No. And we'll just like have a couple of these chilling. You know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or, he was, or he has paparazzi following him. Yep. He hired a lookalikes to recreate his life. <laughs> that's what it that's what that's what his dream was to be recreated. This is goofy. I mean, he made a bunch of clones, so maybe, yeah. Also, welcome back, Komi. Guess I'll just plop this in here. I don't know. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. I'm stuck. I'm kind of just stuck with this hallway. I just don't know. The other thing I was thinking about... ...is, like, using these. You have this little thing. These are, like, little radios. So it just like fills dead in a little bit. I be lurk nut for a bit. Okay, thank you, Kara. I'm your biggest fan. I follow you until you love me. The aliens to Vidkin. <laughs> if 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 there are if the, what's the stupid thing like? If there's if there's a hundred fans of Vidkin, I am one of them. If there's five fans of Vidkin, I am one of them. If there <laughs> if there are no fans of Vidkin, I am dead. Mm -hmm. Because with hallways, I default to small chairs, tables, plants. Maybe so. Yeah, statues could be good. I was hoping to have more usage happening. Maybe I'll put this in here. There might be some overlaying music happening, but it might not be the end of the world. Maybe I can just, yeah, we'll just have like a little workout, oops, a little workout zone here. It also is space for more activities on the roof, so. That's true, yeah. I, I probably could also wait and just add some to certain Sims rooms. Maybe we'll have like a statue here. What can we- we need a Vidkin statue so bad. I'm gonna learn how to like, do custom content stuff. Just, uh, just to, uh, <laughs> just to make a Vidkin statue. Yes, this is a college dorm. It is. For Nutsford University in Calicundia. A 
<laughs> yeah, it's like a resort. It is. It's very fancy. Vidkin is uh, using it to study people, so I think he wants to convince more people to show up so he can study them. That's why we have lots of windows everywhere for him to look in and see whatever he needs to. You know, he's going to just watch them as much as he can. You know? Oh, yeah. Also, that's right. I need to put more more of these guys around. We need more pipes. We don't have enough pipes. There's got to be plenty of pipage. <laughs> Vidkin... Never mind. I was going to say... <laughs> Never mind. I was going to say something that had to do with Vidkin laying pipe, but I don't feel like... I don't feel like coming up with the full story on that one. Where else can I hide a pipe? Maybe this... Oh! I guess it can be on the glass. It's not the end of the world. Uh, did I actually set one down somewhere? <laughs> no, I didn't, I guess. We just need lots of ominous pipes that nobody knows what's in them. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, I'm, laying, I'm the one laying pipe right now. <laughs> You know. <laughs> Classic lure and trap. Yes. Yes. A quality, quality establishment. The sewage fish tank, though. Yeah. You, but they don't know it's sewage. But the, should there be a pipe right in the middle of the Vidkin photo? <laughs> no. I don't think I want to ruin the Vidkin photo with a pipe. I'll put one here. I'm just going to have plenty of pipes everywhere. And just nobody understands. I don't think I put enough in- I don't think I put any in this bathroom, either. Whenever somebody gets asked why there's a pipe, Vidkin threatens them with expulsion. You know? Stuff like that. Also, I didn't put the- the hand dryers. This one doesn't have any hand dryers. Is that- off the wall it is. Pipe me up. No. <laughs> no! Uh, I don't think it's quite the right... Um, that the pipes are strong, resilient, and steadfast, which are supposed to be a reflection of the student body. <laughs> That's what they say to keep people asking. Has Vidkin been Mr. Monster this whole time? Ooh, true. Uh, I'll do that. True? Is is that the truth? Is is maybe? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what this is all about. Maybe that's what this is all about. What if I got rid of one of these and just put a big pipe? Just pipe core. <laughs> pipe core. Also, I got distracted. I didn't put anything here. Hmm. So I went and I built this up here. But like, what if I got... What if we didn't have this? Oh, I, I do need to... I think I need to cut down on these. And then I'll put in I'll put in some actual growing spaces. Maybe I'll just ignore it. We'll just leave that. We'll leave that. I was thinking about using those somewhere, but ooh, I haven't gotten stairs in yet. I forgot about maybe that's what needs to be here. Thank you for the reminder. Let's see what happens if I put plop some stairs. Maybe there's just they're just a sketchy ladder. No. I'll put some of these. Maybe even the exercise bikes could go away for right now. Right, we can have these up here. Do they go in? Maybe they should be more centered. Is that weird? Hmm. 
<laughs> Vibes. <laughs> Butts bot shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where did? How did that happen? How did Buttspot get? How did Buttspot add two equal signs with nut in between? Where did that come from? <laughs> Vibes nut immaculate. <laughs> like, sir, are you okay? What is happening? <laughs> Buttspot becoming sentient. I know. Do I need two? Do you think I could get away with just one? Or should I do two to be safe? Or like, maybe I- oh no, I accidentally deleted the window. Maybe a different style of staircase is what I need. Yeah, the long stairs. Like these guys. I also have these big clunky things, but these never really work anywhere. They're like a good concept, but... I also do- oh my god, what a mess. The mess up here. What if I did... Like, um... This style. Um... If you use the modular stairs, simple sims can- Multiple sims can use at a time. Yeah, is it- are these considered the modu- modular? I don't remember. That looks nice, though. It cuts into the wall, which is annoying. I could get rid of that section of window. Or I could choose to not see it. Okay, the connecting stairs are modular. Okay. I like this sound a lot, too. I think that's fine, yeah. I feel like I should have like a little wall, like here. I don't know if that's necessary though. Do a little, little bit like that. <laughs> We're doing this preseason style, you know. I mean, it's Calicundia. I guess you know. <laughs> it's just open. Maybe the stairs should be um, flipped back. Maybe, yeah, maybe facing. That's true. Oops. That's why I was like, it feels like kind of weird. <laughs> the music is truly iconic. It's own genre style, yes, true. Which I think all credit goes to the the folks that composed it. Maybe I'll put it- could I put it- maybe I'll put them back a square? And that helps just a little bit with- it's just weird. <laughs> like I want to have like this. This- this one's just- this- this dorm has a secret cubby hole. That's all. That's all. We'll, we'll clean up this in a minute here. I'm trying to get the... Uh, trying to get the fence. Doesn't want to give me the fence. I also need to clean up some of my fence recolors because I rarely use half of them. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, how close can I go? This close? Oh no. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> I panicked. I hit the wrong button. There we go. That's cool. And then we have so much space up here. I wish I could see the brochures for this place. Oh boy. I don't know. I don't know if I'd wanna. I feel like there needs to be one of those spheres that you spin around in up here. And a keg. Somebody mentioned a keg. Some party stuff. This is where the bubble blower needs to be. Um. Like this guy. Hot tubs. Outdoor furniture. Yeah, would we have- are we allowed to have a hot tub at the- at this place? That makes sense. I guess anything goes. Vidkin's just trying to get anybody and everybody here.
I wish there was like a more silvery one. That one's... I like the full bronzy silt in that one. Oh, this one's fun too. We'll do that. I like green. We'll do we'll do a bunch of different colors. There we go. One of each color. Any cheeky fo Ooh, that's true. I could put them on the community lot. I gotta remember for that for the community lot. That maybe makes more sense there. Um I don't know why, but the visor this replace remind me of Big Brother, true. I feel like that's really what this is at the end of the day, is one big brother story. <laughs> Hi Laura Summer. What is the storyline with Vidkin in this neighborhood? So that's an interesting that's a good question. Um pretty much the So This hood started just as an experiment with essentially randomizing sliders to make sims that have really extreme appearances and then seeing how they they breed and, and seeing how their genetics cross um and then just somehow i think originally um somewhere along the line we all got obsessed with using the word cund c-u-n-d like vid cund um at one point the bot the butt spot that sometimes replaces words said cund instead of knut or nut um and then I think that led to us when we were creating this hood, we wanted to name the hood something with cund in it. So that's where Calicundia came from. It's like California, but with cund. We had a whole bunch of different names that folks came up, come up, came up with and we voted. And um, Calicundia was what won. Um, and so that just kind of, I feel like that's really the main source of how Vidkin crossed over with this hood. Um, so he's just, and we decided that because the the founders of this hood were kind of the ones that we decided sort of named it that they must be like obsessed with Vidkind and maybe he's like seen as their like they like worship him or something so like that's kind of where that sort of vaguely developed <laughs> and we've just kind of run with it we now have the I downloaded the Vidkin museum or the Kund museum which somebody made um which is really cool and so they have a proper Vidkin museum and yeah we just kind of and now our university, all of the professors are either clones of Vidkin or clones of Cersei Beaker that we decided that the overlord Vidkin created for himself. <laughs> so we just got, it's just continued to develop and build over time. But like, it was pretty much the name and using Kund in the name that was the source, I guess. Um, that, that's kind of the, the bottom line, I guess. We have... Oh yeah, this guy. Mr. Strict Vidkin, yes. <laughs> this feels so like out in the open, just having this just here. I feel like I need some like cheap seats and stuff, like they've gathered their own little seats up here. But yeah, open to any questions. <laughs> any other questions about the, the creatures of this land? Um, we also do have a Wikipedia for this hood. Um, I also am working on, so let me see, Cala, Calicundia, I think that's the, yeah. Um, I'm also working on doing, I on the Wikipedia, when I was doing some work on it, I added, I started adding individual pages that are just like household pages that have a link of all the sims that live in that household, I thought could be useful. So I'm going to have commands. Um, the, I, I, we still have, I, uh, are Connor still allowed to create sims for the hoods? Yes, of course. For They might be turned into young adults for dormies, or we'll just add them in in other times. They're just useful to have. Cause that's what I used for the um, dormies for this hood, was a bunch of stuff that, uh, a bunch of sims that other, uh, that com uh, the community members made and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, I think I've got... I think I got Zycac made. Yeah, I got so I got Wikipedia slash Zycac household. So I'm gonna try and do it with each household, and then like I'd be able to say we're playing this household today, and I have like exclamation point last name, and it comes up with their little household page. So yeah, random thing, <laughs> random thing. I think that's the only one I've made so far. But yeah, I still don't know how I want to format the household pages exactly that makes it make sense. But yeah, that's where I'm messing around with. Um, yeah, we want like one of these. Just like they sit out here and do, you know, stuff that 
college kids do. Whatever that is exactly. Um, maybe like a beaten up old sofa. Maybe a, a radio. I don't want too many, too much music though. I don't, I don't know if I want a radio actually, because I'm afraid they're going to be playing music up here and then like right down below, right? Why can't I go down? Oh, like right here. So it's like maybe we'll wait on that. Hmm. What other act? We said hot tub. We could have like a weird little. Oh, what did I go in this section? What did I got? What is this? Oh my! Where did this come from? What is that? Love spa, twenty grand. Unlike the predecessors, love spa's effect never wears off. There is simply no better way to unwind after a long day. I don't know where I got this. <laughs> I've never seen this. Okay. Moving on. I don't know if I... Wait. <gasps> Wait, I got an idea. Wait, I have an idea. Wait, I have an idea. <laughs> this has got to be right above where the fish tank is. It's got to be right above where the fish... We're swimming in the fish's tank. Wait, that can go over there. Where's the fish tank? <laughs> oh no. Ooh, accidentally grabbed it. It's right there. Uh, it won't let me quite put it on exactly. We're gonna pretend. It's- you can see it like in there. Maybe we'll put it to the side. Wait, does it create a thing underneath? Like, what does it look like from underneath? It's just a gaping hole. <laughs> it's just a gaping hole. Okay. We also probably could do some of the... Some of the stuff. Some of the ceilings to make the ceilings look nice. I wish I could quarter tile place it, but also I understand. Darn it, I can't like center it the way I want it to. <laughs> that tub sure is bubbly, sewage tub. Okay, we'll just say it's- we know it's connected. We know they're connected. You know. Maybe I need some pipes on the side of the, the tank. Make the- uh, I know we have a pipe inside, but maybe... Like, it would look kind of neat to have them is like on the side. There we go. <laughs> Pipes everywhere. Pipes everywhere. Um, would snapped object grids off? Oh, yeah, I don't know. It might make it goofy. Wait, let me save before my game crashes because I'm doing this, but we'll try it. Yeah, we'll do like off grid placement. Let's see. Um, ooh, ooh, I don't know if it, I think it'll have like an empty spot. Yeah, I don't think it wants to. Am I allowed to fill? Hmm, it won't let me fill this, the hole. Okay, well... There we go. I turned the valve on to get the hot tub going, yep. I think we just have it, like, over here somewhere. Oh, man, I just wish it was a little more centered. <laughs> Technically I could bring this out or something, but I don't want to do that. I'll just put it here. That's fine. That's fine, I guess. So we have that. We've got this little goofy section. Maybe we'll have... Maybe instead of two of these, I can put one down here. There we go. We'll have this big one. Big one up here. Little one down there. Uh, we'll fill up this a little bit. I'm worried about... I'm worried a little bit about the lag. If I put too much, like, active plants. Is this the water that's turning the Calicundians gay? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Um... Let's see. I have some of these in here. I have a few. Hmm. 
There we go. This is where they harvest the gay water. Is that Cal is that Vidkin's like is that his uh his agenda? Is that the Vidkin agenda? <laughs> this is harvesting harvesting the gay water and giving it to all the Calicundians. Wish I could put this up or down more, but that's okay. <laughs> Lots of decorations. I also have some stuff in here. There we go. Turn the freaking Kelly Cundians gay. Oh, you know. Let me go have some bags. Bags of stuff. Hopefully that doesn't screw up the door. I don't think it will. We can move. There we go. We got plenty of things and stuff to just make it look like stuff is happening. Oh, I have a, a burlap sack. We could throw a sack in there. Generic burlap sack. Very good. Bum, bum, bum. Some clippers. There we go. Maybe I'll move. Whoops. We will move these like over the actual plants. That'll be nice. There we go. We got a nice little greenhouse for the kids to do green stuff. There's so much space up here. <laughs> Maybe there should be some more painting easels up here. Maybe that's where the easels should be. Um. Hello, hello. <laughs> Sam saved the game yet. I did once, I'm pretty sure. I could do it again. <laughs> oh, basketball hoops. That's a good one. Maybe out back? Should I put them on the ground out or even out front? But also, welcome back. I don't remember if I said that. I already forgot. <laughs> I already forgot. Look at this. This is like techie. That's some techie stuff. Bowling. <laughs> True. We could have a massive bowling alley. Maybe that's what we need in this hood, though. Maybe in the university hood, we need a bowling alley. That'd be fun. Like a community lot bowling alley. That could be the lounge. I don't know what one I want here. <laughs> this dorm doubles as a community. Yeah, true. There's a lot going on in this dorm. It's kind of a big deal. Somebody needs to be up here playing more music. Oh god, this is this would be maddening. Uh oh. Oh, I forgot to fill in this. I guess I'll just do this. There we go. We got some. We got some musical stuff happening. Maybe I'll get rid of the synth down here. Maybe we'll just forget about it for now, unless somebody needs it for whatever they want in life. <laughs> you know. What's this going on? We'll have a couple of these going on. Maybe we'll have like a ra a couple of random easels. Something. People are gonna be begging to come visit. I know the relatives are gonna be like, "Can I come? Can I come by and see how you're doing at school, kid? Please." Who did that other one? I like. Oh, this one. There we go. A couple of they're painting the the distance. There we go. I don't know if there's anything else we could throw in here. I feel like it's a little bit just kind of thrown around. Like the kids are just left to do whatever the hell they really want to be doing. I don't know if I, I think I might put basketball out here to have something out back. <laughs> something like this. Just kind of put it here. Maybe on that. That's kind of good. That's kind of good. 
I guess that's pretty good. I guess we don't really need a whole lot. Maybe even just, just some more random seats or something. I feel like we've got so many chairs in this lot. I guess we need some more. What is this thing? Maybe some recliners for sitting in the sun. Just random stuff being thrown around everywhere. I like the idea of up here being a little bit mismatched though because it's like the kids are just collecting it themselves. I think. Like they just kind of let to do whatever they want. There I guess. <laughs> there I guess. There's not a lot of light up here. That's the only thing. I guess I could put some like outdoor lights. Let me turn the lights down. It'll probably be our finishing touches of this particular lot. Hmm. Ooh, maybe just these, like, these flat ones. Put them at, like, all the corners. What about a totally safe roof campfire? That's a good point. It'd be weird to have... There's, like, two side by side. I don't really love that. But I guess it's gonna happen. I'll just see how it looks. Overkill. <laughs> Light overkill. We got some lights. There we go. And those, that's got lights in there. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do we want to do like a roof campfire? Or, yeah, why don't we do... That's, I actually... Yeah, why not? I also do an outside campfire, like on the ground. Is it? A, it's under party, or a bonfire also feels good for like for like college kids. If you just have a, a a bonfire, just a pile of junk, they light on fire. It doesn't matter. It's all concrete and metal. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> I did not put a grill. Could I could do a grill? Maybe we'll have a grill somewhere. Where's a grill gonna make sense? I don't know if we do. We, would we want one? Are they gonna make? I'm thinking about Sims walking somewhere to try and do grilling activities. They're gonna have to go to the fridge, right? Hmm. Maybe out this way. At least that way they have like a straight shot to the. This lot's gonna be just- there's gonna be so much happening all the time. I'm afraid of lag. I'm afraid that we're gonna put all this work into- not the baby cooking grill. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> there's one sprinkler. We have one sprinkler. I don't know if I should have more than one. I put one just above the- the oven. Or the- like the stove. Um, oh, here we go. I feel like a little puny grill that, like, one of them brought home from their vacation. Their visit home. You know? <laughs> OMG, FTW. <laughs> Barbecue. The color grill, I guess, like this. No, we could just have a couple of seats out here, like a cheapo table. Here, we'll do this one. Om, om, om. Where is the chair I'm looking for? I am blind. I cannot see it. I'm like tunnel vision right now. Oh my, I don't know if we're going to be able to do multiple de decorations in one, in, it, like, I might have to have a day where we play, like, on Saturday, we might have to just play a little instead of decorating, because I'm going to be burned out on the decorations. I'm, where am I? I can't see the, the thing I'm looking for. <laughs> I can't see the thing I'm looking for. <laughs> Hi, Fumos. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, someone's suburban dad gave it them on spring break, yeah. The only baby grill here is Vidkin. <laughs> what a sentence. 
I could I would love to say may I may I save that sentence for a for a quote to add to the quote machine? <laughs> Do I have your permission, cursive, <laughs> to add you to the quote machine? That feels like a fun out of context quote to get from the quote machine. God, I can't find the thing I'm looking for. Yes, you may. Okay. <laughs> Looking for the baby girl, yeah, of course, of course. Why am I not? Am I? I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I can't find the chair that I'm looking for. I guess we'll just use a different way. These are cute. These, these chairs are fun, but they don't feel like a good outdoor chair. I guess I could. Hmm. Here, we'll do some mix and match outdoor furniture here. We'll do this guy. Here, we'll do we'll do this one and this one. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, not design. That's okay. There we go. <laughs> I like that. There we go. This is. I think we're. I think we. I think we did it. <laughs> I think we did it. I think we, I think we, I think we won the Sims. <laughs> no, I think we finished our dorm. I don't think I forgot anything. Oh, num lock off. Oh, num lock on. Whoa, I got a pop up. Okay. <laughs> baby girl, baby grill. <laughs> yes, of course. This is our, this is our official, we can do a little look over of it. We have our wonderful roof with too many things going on. <laughs> gun gun gunkatory complete. <laughs> Not the gunkatory. Looking good. Of course, all the dorm rooms are very basic, but we'll decorate them when Sims are actually living there. Got our nice little entertainment recreation hall. Oh, the roofing. We gotta do the ceilings. I wanna paint ceilings. I hate the I don't like this basic. This basic stuff. We'll do that real quick. I gotta find something to use. Paws? Is Vidkin secretly a furry? Does he have paws everywhere? Gunk Sluck Sucklers? <laughs> the Gunk Sucklers. I would have loved it if if Butt Spot had jumped in there. Of all the times for Butt Spot to jump in, that would have been a good one. <laughs> that would have been a good one. But that's kind of nice. I was thinking more. What's this one? Interesting. Ominous grid. <laughs> the nut sucklers. <laughs> the nut sucklers. This one. Oh. Hmm. That's kind of fun. That's like ominous. <laughs> That's like ominous. <laughs> What spot is on strike because you don't appreciate them? University sports team name. Oh, the nut sucklers. I thought it was. I thought, I thought you meant the uh, sports team name was. What spot is on strike because you don't appreciate them? <laughs> I'm a big fan of. What spot is on strike because you don't appreciate them? I would just use the flooring for the maximum. That's true. Maximum facility vibe. Yeah. Or yeah, I could do that. Or I could do the big. The big version like this one. That's, I think that works. We'll do that. And then just do it everywhere. Is that... Oh, that's because of the, the hot tub. Just going... We're going on a, a tour through room by room, just filling her in here. Please let me in. I'm probably gonna forget a room. I'm trying to remember our layout here. I love these stupid invisible doors. I love these dumb invisible doors. Is there is there a room over here? No, that's the outside world. The outside world is bad. We don't want to go in the outside world. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, Jean. Hello, Jean. I just love everywhere just a pipe. Everywhere I'm looking, there's just a pipe. <laughs> Oh, that looks nice in this room. That looks good in this room. Looks very professional. Did we already do... 
Yeah, I think I think I got it all. I think I got it all. There we go. Our wonderful, we got our wonderful, uh, nice sterile kitchen face. I don't know why this is like yellow looking. I think it's just the lighting looking weird. This all looks yellow. It's not really supposed to. Kind of kooky, kind of crazy. <laughs> gerbits, gerbits, vo, boo, 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 boo. Yeah. <laughs> and this, our little primary colors. The nice view of the toxic waste dump. Toxic waste storage zone. That are nice. I like the center books. All of our stuff and all of our things. This is still a little empty out here, but I think it just has to be. I think it just has to be empty. You know? Raise a raise of hands. Who's gonna go to the, the Nutsford University here? <laughs> Who's gonna go to Nutsford University? Look at that. When you come right in. Who's going to be sending an application <laughs> to Nutsford University? There we go. <laughs> I love this fish tank. I'm obsessed with the fish tank. It's great. <laughs> fish tank fantastic. Looking good. Bring, bring boiled water. I thought you said- I almost thought you said boiled water, but honestly, same concept. <laughs> bring pre-boiled water? Or bring something, either bring bottled water or bring something that you can boil your water in. <laughs> What's behind strike? Because that's what you, oh wait, oh, <laughs> I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even get that. I didn't even get that. That went over my head. Very, very clever. <laughs> I thought it was just supposed to be Simlish. I thought it was supposed to be Simlish. Um, I think, <laughs> oh, there is a phone, yes. However, whether this phone actually reaches the outside world, maybe is another question. I feel like this phone only reaches the main office, and they can then relay your information through a carefully filtered channel of, of communication. You know? <laughs> you know? I think that's probably what's happening here. Um, I think the- is the lighting- the only thing I didn't think about was lighting in the hallway. This is- we got light here. I don't know if there's much- I guess there's this. I guess we'll just deal with it. Horrifying, like a jail call. Yeah, exactly. You pick up every time you pick up the phone. <laughs> it is it a jail? It's a happy little community. Like you pick up the phone, it just says this call is being recorded for quality assurance reasons, <laughs> purposes, <laughs> and you're just like, I just want to call my mom. <laughs> I just want mommy. <laughs> no. <laughs> the phone has an operator who puts you <laughs> to call the other canuts. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Well, I guess we can... So, I don't even know... Okay, so we're almost at the four-hour mark. Um, no mothers, only nuts. <laughs> I guess we could start decorating the... I don't really know that I feel like transitioning to gameplay. Because I feel like it's either we start decorating another one, or we play a little bit of a household for the next round. We'd be starting round five. Um, thank you for the follow, Mark Spoons. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in. So hi, Jim and AJ. This is giving Zimbardo psychological experience. I think it might be a psychological experience. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good one. Press one to speak to administration. Press two to leave a message for Vidkin. That's all the options. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like the decorating, decorating vibes. Yeah, we could do, we could start Poking at the coffee place. That's true. A household with a teen so they can move to college. Yeah. That's the thing. I think we're gonna we're, we'll play university at the end of the next round. So we're not we're gonna have all of this round to finish decorating. Um the first household I'd like to play in this round would be Iris's household. Um I'd really like to try playing them. Um, so if we were to play, if we were to start round five, I think we'd start by playing Iris Icon and her children. Um, that's also, that'd be fun. We'd get to see BJ. Um, or we can, let me go back out here. Or we can work on starting decorating the coffee shop. I don't know. I might be a little burned out on decorating right now. Like a little bit tired of it. I, I enjoyed that, but I'm I'm done. <laughs> I think we might go play a little. I feel like a little a little mind-numbing playtime <laughs> would be good. 
Uh, we can go back to the university. Yeah, that's cool. We in this chat. I also I started playing when I was a kid back in uh, back when it very first released. I started playing The Sims with The Sims One, and then found out The Sims Two. Um. Uh, found out The Sims 2 came out. <laughs> you got a, sim a, a three stream streak. Very nice, bitch. I haven't seen Calicundia since the introduction of Bing Bong. Is that their name? Yes, there is a Bing Bong. We do have Bing Bong. If that's who, if, if, if you mean who you mean, Bing Bong's got a mohawk and likes grilled cheese a lot. Uh, thank you for the olive oil. Did the olive oil properly pop up? Yeah, it's an olive oil. It's an olive oil. Um, yeah, Bing Bong. Bing Bong lives in this house over here. Look at how full our town looks. Look at our, our cute little town. Look how look how full and, and lively it looks. Oh, I'm giving myself a massage. I also have to run ads in a minute, so we might do that as we're loading in. Um, but Iris is over here. Iris, <laughs> how innocent it appears. I'm working on removing any of the lots that have, like, I made, like, um, Sims have, like, a, a at-home business where it's, like, an official lot, but it's them living there. I'm working on separating that and making it so that the, the community lots are community lots and then Sims live at home so that I have more community lots for my other Sims to visit, right? Without having to use the visit Sims mod that make, lets them visit people's homes. Um, so I am working on that a little bit. I'm going to run an ad while this is loading and doing whatever it's doing right now. <laughs> it is doing something. You have a lot of catching up to do. Yes, a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, I always, I'm trying to stay on top of re-uploading my streams onto um, the uh, stream YouTube channel. I think in case anybody doesn't know. I think this link should bring you... It bring you to let me double check that it brings you to the right playlist now because I originally I was trying to keep up with the playlists on yeah this is the right one so this is the one that's uh, keeping up to date there's so much <laughs> there's so much there we go oh oh no come back yeah so we have we have the Okinans which are very wholesome and then we have the icons who live in a trailer um they both I mean they both live in a trailer we have the icons. We have Iris, BJ, <laughs> BJ. Uh, we have uh, Lizavina. This is little Dreamer down here, and then we have Winko. Let's enter. Oh God! Look at that! Look at that monstrosity! Look at that glorious monstrosity! I got the hemorrhoid ad too. They're really making sure their ad budget is spent for the year. Oh my God! What is it now? What is <laughs> what is it about? <laughs> This audience that the how did I get the hemorrhoid ad again? <laughs> not, the, not the double hemorrhoid ad action. Um, what is it about this audience or this stream that tells the algorithm these people need hemorrhoid cream? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I, need to, I need to know <laughs> what exactly we're, we're what's happening. What are we doing? <laughs> be telling you something <laughs> i hope dreamer grows up and falls in love with princess squeakers oh man that'd be great or even bj bj oh my god okay i gotta get rid of this little trait thing um yeah so this is looks like things are functioning for me as far as the apartments go so this is our little apartment lot um I, it's a really nice little apartment i, I very quickly decorated it uh, a little while back I think everything's fitting. I just realized uh, well, we have two. I guess we do have we have two toddlers. I was like, why do we have two cribs? We have two toddlers. Um, we have Iris Icon, the queen herself. She was previously with Mervy. Uh, oh my god! I accidentally refreshed and got attacked by it for a third time. Oh no! I'm sorry. That sucks. That's annoying. Which is like everyone talks about nuts on this channel. It is an appropriate ad. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna take a moment to eat some more chips before I start explaining until it tells me that the ad break ended. Just so anybody's stuck behind an ad, uh, I guess it ended now. 
before I, I then I can do some introductions for this household. I know the icon in the wants panel is a lot. Um so Oh my god. <laughs> my back, my back, ugh. Are you <laughs> do you need hemorrhoid cream, Danny? <laughs> we gotta hook up for some hemorrhoid cream <laughs> if that's what you're experiencing. Um Okay. So a little rundown of this family now that the ads have finished. We have we have Iris Icon here, the the icon herself. She's wonderful. She's perfect. Um, I gotta track down where her black glasses went because I definitely prefer her black glasses. Oh, I'm having back pain. I get that. I get that. I tend to get really bad lower back pain during that. That's okay. YouTube keeps giving me this ad for a Christian prayer app, and I keep blocking it. The more I block it, the more I get... I've had that happen about to call YouTube service. Yeah, I've, ha I've had that happen a few times. I had a terrible one that came up one time. It was like a very anti-trans one that was like religious and anti-trans thing, and it popped up multiple times. And it's like, hello? I, I reported it every time I saw it, but I they're just like purposely forcing it <laughs> i don't know but anyway we have iris here um what are iris's traits again so she's charismatic she's mean-spirited star quality flirty and irresistible she also has a bunch of stuff in her inventory that i forgot she has so we can do i like that look at the, the shocking pink flamingo <laughs> i didn't know it was called shocking why did i not know it was called shocking pink flamingo or the ads use the AI Biden voice telling Americans that they need they can get free money, yeah. Anyway, we got some different things we could throw out of our inventory here if we need to. Um, she was previously in a relationship with Mervy, and then she started fooling around with other folks. Um, I like how her memories show made out with Blobbert, won a fight with Mervy, <laughs> lost Mervy as a friend, had an accident, <laughs> Vermin <laughs> had BJ, Vermin, Vermin. Met Misty, won a fight with Mervy, made enemies with Mervy, won a fight with Mervy, moved out. <laughs> so you can see her life has been a little tumultuous <laughs> last round. She had quite a time. Quite a time. <laughs> uh, had PJ. <laughs> had a BJ. <laughs> Kick his ass, babe. <laughs> yeah, so we, uh, she ended up breaking up with Mervy, stealing a bunch of his money. And buying herself, a, well, renting a trailer here, and taking all of her children and buying back Dreamer and Winko were at the orphanage, and she took them back too. So now she's she's reclaiming her children, and um, here she is. <laughs> she's doing her her bestest. I kind of want to change the yellow glasses; just aren't doing it for me. She used to have black ones, and they. I think I accidentally got rid of them. I don't know if I have anything good. I'm sorry, what? No, everybody's like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> what? I've gotten some weird anti-trans, anti-binary type ads on Tumblr with those, like, overlay long slogans. Oh, yeah, overly long slogans on T-shirt. I report them every time. Yeah, I know, and it's wild that, like, of all places, Tumblr? You're gonna try and give me that on Tumblr? I've had a couple of Tumblr ads, too, that are like, you think this is the demographic that's here? <laughs> We're on Tumblr? <laughs> um... Oh, I scroll a few times on YouTube shorts and quickly start skidding anti-trans and straight bros on a podcast content. Oof. Oof. That's rough. I don't get a ton of that, luckily. I don't get too, too much. I know, I love her. I love Iris so much. You're, you, curse if you made Iris, correct? I'm not, am I mistaken in that? You made Iris, I think. So, th if you, I think you did. Thank you for <laughs> this wonderful creation. <laughs> They do not know their audience. Yeah, you did make Iris. Okay. <laughs> thank thank Cursive for this wonderful creation. Um They do uh yeah, they don't know their audience. I don't know. Tumblr's for the gays of the days and slaves. Yeah, I know. And and the depraved weirdos that hide in the corner. <laughs> but we don't talk about them. 
they're 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 cracking down on some of them, I guess. <laughs> Oof, this section lags. Yeah, she said that's exactly. It said D. Wow. Maybe like a pink. I don't know. Just oh wait, what are? Ooh, wait. That's it. There it is. She used to have little black ones on. I think that's better. I guess I didn't see him last time or something. There she is. That's her. That's her. That's Ms. Iris. Um, I don't think she doesn't have a job right now. She wants to get a job in the slacker career. So I might let her do that. Um, we have Dreamer, the icon. So we have twins. Her first set of children she had were twins. <laughs> the most beautiful creation, also known as Dreamer. <laughs> I'll let that play. Oh crap, I just realized something. Dreamer's missing her feet. I have a weird issue with some sort of default, and I can't figure out what's causing it. See, she has no shoes on. I also gave her a different wig. Um, but so we have little Dreamer and Lizardina are twins that were born from between Mervy and Iris. Um, let's give you a little plan outfit moment. See what we've got. She shed her feet, I know. Maybe we'll give her this little outfit. She looks all sunburned anyway, so we'll give her a little... We might change her hair, too. Got a different wig, apparently. <laughs> I need to touch grass. I looked at her single eye and thought, the walking eye <laughs> from Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> Quote sided touch grass. There we go. So here she is. She likes wearing wigs. I think we might have decided that she might be bald like her mother. I think we might have said that she likes to wear wigs. So, like, we try to choose hair that kind of looks like it's a wig. Um... She's really great. She's just she's just really great all around. Uh, real excited, real real good work on that. Real excited about this one. This one as she ages. Um, I might wanna let's see what. Now that I have my custom hairs in, talk about a gummy smile. Yeah, <laughs> put the Otomus twins here. And that that's fu that's funny. That'd be <laughs> baby. It'd be great if j imagine I could just drop in the Otomus kids into this tiny pool and just be like they're just they're just one of the calicundians you know just unaffected unchanged <laughs> just unchanged just as they are what kind of wig does she have on Ooh, what if she gets what if she goes blonde maybe she's entering her her beach babe era i'm gonna have her blonde wig <laughs> this wait this wait this flat straight wig on her is kind of funny <laughs> she had this one before because I took out my I took out my custom content hairs, it got it got changed. Bubblegum? Oh god, in her eyes like that. This also feels like a wig. <laughs> Voking hard. <laughs> the wig is right out of the bag, yes. That that's the thing. That's what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look like she she went to <laughs> Spirit Halloween and, and popped it on her head. Oh my. Oh my, look at that one. I think I think I like this this I think she's entering her blonde girl era. She's trying she's she had her like emo era <laughs> and now she's going to she's she's going to be constantly changing, I feel like. She's just she doesn't know who she is. So she's just constantly now she's like Barbie doll. She saw she saw the Barbie movie. Now she's really into it, the idea of being a Barbie doll. She's gonna do pink. <laughs> she's gonna do pink. <laughs> she was inspired by Mara Blah Blah Blue. <laughs> um, I guess that's about. We could do like a blue. See, the blue's not big enough to show on her silly little face. See any of the regular eyeshadow? She has, we have to use one of these big, massive ones to show up. I guess we'll just keep her in that. There we go. There we go. She's she's great. She's doing great. So that's that's Dreamer. Uh, and then we have her twin sister, who is the chosen one, for obvious reasons. <laughs> the way the eye came in to to see in there. Yeah, this is the chosen one. She's she's really great because she's got she's got Iris's eye, but she's got Mervy's everything else down from here down is Mervy, her father, and then Iris's eye. So it's she's got a really great like unique she's like a clone 
creation, but her own type of Cyclops. Gotta go, Sam. I don't know if I'll be back, so good night. Okay, thank you for hanging out, dream uh, Dreamy. I was called you, Dreamer. <laughs> thank you, Dreamy. Have a good night. And so she's a really great little specimen. Um, then we have Winko. We have good old Winko. Look at this guy. I, d I don't think Winko gets enough attention. I don't think Winko gets enough attention. Can we talk about Winko? <laughs> Winko is really good. Winko is the child of Iris and Mervy. No, I said that wrong. W try the Rewind. Rink R Winko is the child of Iris and Herb Moldy. Herb Moldy, who is the Herb Oldie of Calicundia. Winko has never winked a day in his life. True. I think he might, he might be, look at how his eyebrows go up. Oh, that was scary. Herb Moldy, yes. And then last but not least, <laughs> we have BJ. Who, uh, I think I moved them away. They're playing on a toy, so they're just kind of... <laughs> what, what, what is there to say about BJ? <laughs> Baby girl BJ. <laughs> what am I looking at? <laughs> you know, <laughs> philosophers have been asking that for e aeons, eons. <laughs> I don't think there's really an answer. She's the, she's, so BJ is the, ch B BJ stands for Blobbert Jr. And uh, she is the child of Iris and Blobbert the face, who's the big massive face sim that wanders around. So I'm real excited about her age up. Um, real excited about that. Let me turn their sound down just a little bit. Um, okay, yeah, she's on, she's actually over here. She's actually playing with this toy. I think I moved her out of the way for some reason. So she's over here, but this look at this moving on its own. That's kind of cursed. Gotta walk sideways through the doorway. You know, I'd like to think it's like very. She's like a mouse. You know how mice and like rodents can like squish themselves really tight. She can just like and just like squeeze through, and then come back out. <laughs> flexible. She's got a little flippy flop flexible moment. Um. Okay. So it's supposed to be. We're supposed to actually be on Thursday in this household, as far as the time goes. Um, I'm trying to think, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, right? Am I playing to... I'm getting a little confused with doing the five days, because it's like, obviously, it's like constantly offsetting. But I think... I'm, I'm, I was considering going back to seven days again, which I'm like constantly changing it every round, but... So I think Friday to Mon... Tuesday? I think Tuesday. Imagining her, her, her lower her frill as she wants. Yeah, she just like she can dance with it and she can do a little. <laughs> Are you telling me that she's malleable? Yeah, <laughs> she's very malleable. Okay, so it's Thursday. Why don't we make it like 2 a.m. or something? Girls up for mating season. Oh no, I hate that. Yeah, so we got so everybody's here and they're doing their thing. I think I'm going to give Iris the job just right away. I've been doing that more often just because I have so many custom NPC jobs right now that they just they flood the newspaper and it's just annoying. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, I like their little trailer. I like how it turned out. Um I don't think I don't think Iris is going to be having any more Wait, the way that those two, the hydrate and, and this, those two sounds came together was kind of fun. Thank you for the hydrate. I think there was one earlier I forgot to do, too. I did a big hydrate for, for double. We have lots of redemptions today. Lots of redemptions. I wish I could see how many channel points are spent in a night. Like, the total amount that have been spent on things? That'd be kind of fun. There's probably a way. Okay, how's everybody's needs? Are we all happy? We're also probably going to have to hire, um... Hire a, a nanny for this household. Let's teach to talk. I also just noticed we got a thousand bucks richer. I think that's because Dreamer got money from... Yeah, inherited money from Leona. So Leona gave us money. She died last time. 
We got money from her. I think there was like it was like 900 or 800 or something. What are you trying to do with this monstrosity? Family kiss. Wait, I gotta see this. Wait, can we get you to stop this? Dreamer was trying to family kiss BJ. We need a we need a family kiss. I gotta see this. I gotta see this. Okay. Wholesome. <laughs> the little forehead, I guess. <laughs> BJ, and, BJ and Winkle huggle. <gasps> That's true. I'll have to try and do that. Just teaching him to talk. I think Winkle used to have different hair, but now he's got the little wispy hair and I kind of love it. I kind of like how it looks on him. <laughs> the frontal palate. <laughs> Getting slammed with a palate. <laughs> just absor BJ just absorbs Winkle, yeah. How do we feel about Iris starting to also wear wigs? That'd be kind of fun. She's This is her new era. She, it's a new her. Maybe she should have a full, like, different outfit. I don't know. I like her outfit as is, but, like, this is the outfit she wore when she was with Mervy. Maybe she's... Maybe she needs to be a new her. Thank you for hanging out, Bex. Have a good night. <laughs> See you guys in VOD. See you in VOD land. <laughs> See you in the VOD land. <laughs> have a good night and drive safe. Can't believe you let that man breed. Reported and blocked. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we love when when a when a man and a woman love each other very much. <laughs> you create an abomination. There's a new woman starting a new chapter. <laughs> Have a good rest of your night. Oh, she's supposed to go to work. Oh wait, that's the hard part about being in this trailer at the back of the lot is I can't hear what's happening up here. We're gonna have to call for a nanny or well she you know what I have a mod that makes it so it doesn't force nannies to show up. I'm gonna just uh I'm just gonna go we're just gonna go for it. Um and then we'll have her maybe we'll have her go for a walk at some point to what's his name shop uh Char Charles Charlie Rhodes <laughs> Charlie Rhodes. I can't remember my own Sims names. Charlie Rhodes. Oh, thank you for the save game. We can do that, too. Now that we've adjusted everybody. Oh, I think they were just huggling. <gasps> I think we missed a huggle. I think we missed a huggle. I gotta try again. I think the baby, the other one will just get sw swallowed. I think they'll just get swallowed. Let's try it. Just in case they get yoinked again, yes. Good point. I think I have all the mods that'll stop it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, she rejected. <laughs> look at her go. <laughs> look at it. Look at it. It's just like, there's so much to see. Especially from, like, we look from the front a lot. But from the back? Uh-oh. They don't wanna. Womp womp womp. They don't, they don't wanna wanna. I'm just watching them go, but it seemed like they got positive reactions a second ago. Okay, she's- what is her deal? Her needs are not fantastic. Hopefully she'll survive her mom not being here. <laughs> These two just playing video games all the time. She just wants pets so bad. I really don't think we need a pet in this- this place. Imagine making BJ angry. <laughs> you don't want to see BJ when she's angry. How about you come over here and just like... Play with a toy. Come play with this. Uh, I don't think we have enough. Can I pull stuff out of her inventory even when she's not here? She had another toy hiding in here. And a, and a toilet. I don't know if we want the. I'll just shove it there. I don't know if it's functional. God, <laughs> clicking anything while having BJ selected is a jump scare. <laughs> that lamp is so low on the dining table, like damn, why is it that seriously? I know it's very, it's very, uh, very, uh, very, uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> My brain's mush right now, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's, it's very serious. Oh, the light's come. That's the light's coming up, the sun's coming up. <laughs> it's keeping the cookies warm, there you go. Keeping the cookies warm. Of course. Of course. <laughs> we try to eat, girl. We see the light, okay? 
She's just doing her best. <laughs> She's just doing her best. Yeah, it's it's like those those like food in like a cafeteria where they have the lights on it to try to help it stay warm, or like in a in a a store where you buy it fresh. <laughs> if they're trying. Minko, are you okay? Can we not reach this? Are you not capable of reaching these toys? I feel like I feel like uh I feel like Winko gets a little outshined by his sisters. You know, we've got Dreamer, the most beautiful creation. We've got um we've got Lizardina, who is the the Cyclops, this the second Cyclops, second gen Cyclops, first gen Cyclops, whatever. And then we've got, you know, BJ the abomination that broke the the laws of time and space. And then we just got a little Winko who's just kinda he's just a little goofy. He's like the underdog, you know? He's a black sheep. I feel I feel like we gotta I'm I'm curious what's in store for Lil Winko. Also I wonder if I should maybe have invested in some different toddler containment devices. Like maybe just some beds. I would love to pluck my eyebrows on that table. <laughs> there you go. I have not bothered to pluck an eyebrow in like years. I do not- I do not even touch my eyebrows. What? Um... What are we gonna like- I wish things weren't so big, because I like the concept of these. But I wish they weren't so big. Also, hi, Bog. <laughs> Look for the olive oil. I used to shave the ends of my eyebrows, but I gave up. Interesting. I think- I used to like, brush them up. And then like trim them <laughs> and then brush them back down. <laughs> Which is so stupid. Cause I don't think it really did anything. It just was weird. Um, I feel like the vibe of this this household is a dog bed. You know? I think that's it. I think that's what we're gonna go for is dog bed. Um, the thing is is I gotta try and fit another one in here. I'm curious about so I set up this is little Iris's room. I wonder if I might temporarily put this over here. This looks goofy. I put this here. I think routing will work here. I don't know. I don't know if the routing's gonna be goofy there. Let me turn off snapping. Also, thank you for the lurk bug. I go to thank you. I'm gonna like squish it into the wall a little. And then I might put, um, another toddler bed in here for now. I don't know who's aging up first. Yeah, I don't know if... I think for now, Iris probably isn't gonna be trying to get anybody- get with anybody, you know what I mean? I think she's- she's being a little separate from- from, you know. She's not trying it out right now. That'll work. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> the vibe of this house is dog bed. It's a sin that you only get from a Sammy Sundog stream, I swear. <laughs> you know. Specifically a Calicundia stream. <laughs> it's like, instead of dog water, it's dog bed. <laughs> dog bed. Oh, what's his personality like? Sorry, Kaylee, I didn't see your message. Um... Let's see, what did his traits- what did he get? Oh! <laughs> he got evil and neurotic. Hmm. <laughs> is this the underdog we really want to be rooting for? Evil and neurotic. Okay. Oh, he's close to aging up, though. That'll, that'll be nice. But then I'll have to try and fit another bed, actual bed in this room, which is going to be painful. What's his actual personality, too? Oh, yeah, he's full grouchy, but full playful. That feels mischievous. He's a mischievous little guy. He's kind of like... In between lazy and active. He's quite outgoing and pretty neat, more on the neat side. Um, ooh, also I forgot that I added proper bios to everybody in this household. I'm working on adding bios to everybody. <laughs> he is the devil. He's a nasty little man. <laughs> that feels correct for his, um, <laughs> wait, I mean, Winko has a future impossible horror genre movie making, so it fits, that's true. He's, he's gonna be the ghost face. <laughs> Oh god, look at this creature sleeping. Also, I'm hearing... Who's out here? Oh, Muhammad's out here playing basketball. Hi, buddy. You know, the usual. Basketball and, and axe throwing. Are they going to school? 
Yeah. Okay. Now the toddlers are fully alone. When does Iris get home? 10 a.m. Okay, we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. <laughs> POV, you're the most normal person in this hood. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be funny. Who, who is the most normal? Who's the most normal? Um, resurrect Leona? I don't know about that. She wants to have a party? That could be fun. Why are you complaining about being tired while getting off the bed? Oh, because you have to go to the bathroom? Uh-oh, some neighbors have shown up. They're concerned. They can hear crying coming from the, the trailer next door and nobody's home. <laughs> Electra, yeah, I guess Electra. It's true. Electra's probably both in appearance and, and personality. Um, also, what neighbors? Where? Who? <laughs> Who, what, when, where? Okay, we get it. We get it. You're upset. I feel like there was something else I was going to say and I forgot. Um, There's something I was thinking about with when it comes to the kids. That would be very interesting to have a first-person POV short where you actually visit a Calicundia community lot. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Check out the... Just kind of walk around and see the, the ongoings of the, of the folks. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I was editing some more shorts. I'd ended up editing a bunch of bunch of shorts slash TikToks for um one of the, the the two early Strange Town streams, recent ones, so I also have some some uh Calicundia things we'll have to do too. Maybe I'll have to make one about the Leona's make a wish <laughs> adventure. I can't remember now what I was thinking. I was thinking I was going to say something. I was like, I had an idea. Now I can't remember. Why aren't they sleeping? Like, what's, I guess, just hygiene issues? Award-winning horror game. <laughs> Award-winning horror game. Oh, did you pass out? Not you. Uh-oh, there's a fight happening on the lot. Who's fighting? La Mara LaRosa and Lucia. Wow, look at her. Look how angry this girly is. She just, she has a resting angry face. Look at her. Oh god, I'm trying to get a good look at her, but we're inside the fog. <laughs> we're trying. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it just keeps getting worse. Oh, mommy's home. Mommy's home. We gotta change some diapies if we can get some folks to wake up. We might also have to, like, leave out the fog of war. We might have to, um, leave out, like, a dog bowl <laughs> for the kids while she's... Maybe she won't hire a nanny. She'll just let them be alone at home because all she she works from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. So, like, they won't technically be alone the whole time, you know. Ma'am? Are we not... Are we not gonna... Yeah, the, the fighting... Honestly, welcome to the trailer park. <laughs> the neighbors are, are beating each other up. Okay, he got on the bed. That's all right. You just come back here. Do your thing. Oh, <laughs> you thought it was a jingle for your clip creation. That's funny. Maybe we need a little clip creation sound. Oh, we got we got mail. Also, what did she get? Oh, gas station attendant. <gasps> what is Marvy doing? Wait, Marvy's here. He's 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 evil thinking about Iris. <gasps> Not her swooning over Marvy. He's like, oh, he's hot, and he's like stealing. He hates you. You're supposed to be strong. <laughs> he panicked and ran away, and she's like, mm, he's hot. <laughs> he's hot. I know, 139. Actually, I don't think that's her rent. I think the rent comes once a week, and it's like a thousand. <laughs> yeah, I, I should have taken a screenshot. Dang it. That was funny. You've been promoted to mod level five. <laughs> Uh, use. I guess she can take a little nap while the kids are sleeping, and then she can get up and take care of their issues. I mean, as much of their issues as she can make. See, the other thing I'm noticing is that we can never see what BJ's mood is. Because she takes up the whole thing. Like, see how, like, obviously, Winko, we can see the orange, right? The green behind these girlies. BJ, we have no clue. I have no clue where she's at. By At a glance, I have to click on her. <laughs> That's kind of a disadvantage. Also, welcome back, Kerosene. 
<laughs> Can't wait to catch up on the vog. The vog. I wait, vod. I think I like the, I like calling it a vog better. Now what am I hearing? Oh, you playing basketball? Okay. <laughs> for the last of stream, yes, yes, yes. We'll be yeah. I'll probably go for just a little bit longer. Yeah, we're getting close to the five hour mark, so just barely kind of starting playing this. Maybe we'll play these guys on Saturday. And maybe after we're done playing them, then we'll do some building. Like, we'll jump back and forth to take a little bit of a break, because it can be a little bit, like, a little bit of a burnout to, to keep doing decorating constantly. This is, this is a look. I just, I really want this one to age up. It becomes a child in five days, so we should see them age up at the end of the round. I'd like to make sure, I mean, not the end of the round, but end of the time playing them. So I'm excited. Okay, I guess we'll fast forward while everybody's asleep. Until somebody gets up and starts scramming. What is this? What am I... Okay. I think it's like quiet. Let me turn up the sound a little bit. I need someone to take care of me. <laughs> I need someone to, to, to bottle feed you. Almost dropped my laptop. Oh no. Oh no. Be careful. Okay, you have awoken. Good job. Let's see. I think we need to, to get you to wake up so we can do some caretaking. Oh, not grow up. Oh, I actually hit grow up. <laughs> I meant to hit wake up. Oh, there's no wake up option. Can you get off the bed, sir? Tenny, I got you. <laughs> Piggy Bunny's going to take care of you and catch your laptop. Uh, change diaper. And then, get bottle for Winko. Yeah, you can take a shower after. Uh-oh, I hate it when they, there's like a weird routing thing where they have to go around instead of cut through here. That's annoying. Do that. I like how we can just hear folks out here playing, oh my god. Dang, Lucia. <laughs> Lucia's going wild. If no one's got me, then Thicky Bunny's got me. I'm struggling. You're all right. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. Are we feeding the child? Are we not going to feed the... Or do we not... Do we choose to unfeed the child? Okay. Dreamer's grades are going up. That's good. That's something. Look at this. Look at this Barbie doll girly. She's tired. I'm gonna bump her just a little because it doesn't make sense that she's super tired. These guys got a nice little playground to play on and everything. <laughs> Not the toilet. I know, he's headed for the toilet. Just training for her next fight. <laughs> she's, gonna, she's gonna bring an axe next time. We need, we need your help. You need to come and change this diaper. Get over here. Oh boy. Am I gonna have to put- I think I might have to replace this with like a toddler door. Oh boy. Get out of here, buddy. Oh boy. Maybe I can change the- at least the- Let me change the arrangement. So that when he screws around in it, it'll be over here instead of over there. That'll help. There we go. That way maybe it'll help with the routing a little bit. Oh no, Lizardina is having a meltdown. The children are unhappy. You're tired. I'm gonna bump you up a little too. You need to use the bathroom, but your little brother's in the way. <laughs> Blushes. <laughs> okay. Um. Get a bottle for BJ. Maybe we need. I don't know if. I don't know if. Like a high chair is gonna help us at all in this household. Are we out of groceries or anything? No, okay. I just didn't know why she didn't give him a, a bottle last time. Yeah. Give it a huh. Here we go. Now we got a bottle on the floor. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow! Anna! I don't know how exactly to say all your name, but Anna! Thank you for the follow! Uh-oh, we're, we're fighting. 
I'm gonna be a cheater and do this. Get this little gremlin out of here. There we go. <laughs> I'm laying down, I'm getting stomach cramps. I can't catch a break with this flesh shell. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I might- I was thinking about... I don't know. Do I wanna- should we- I like the idea of making, um, Iris walk to a community lot to buy clothing. But at the same time, like, we have so many kids here, I feel weird leave letting her just, like, walk away. For, I mean, obviously she just left them while she went to work, but, like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll just, like, do it. Let's just, I'm just gonna, she's, she's ordering them online. She's using her little, la she has a laptop in her inventory right now, so she's using that. What is the new Iris look? What is her I'm no longer dating Mervy look? What about, like, one of these? Oh, like, a full-length dress is fun? A little maxi dress? Does she she had so her last dress was black with red. Ooh, this is kind of fun. I don't know if she should be colorful or not. Hmm. I'm really liking these like shiny dresses. <laughs> Iris is come on out now. Let me go to the end. Maybe we need more like mm, I don't think ooh, we have like this moment. Oh, she got served good. <laughs> it caught it. There we go. <laughs> that I <rizzy. laughs> So I'd love to see her in one of those ho hoods. Oh my, wow. Huge poofy faux fur coats. True. Do I have one of those in every day? Did I, did I go past it? I don't know what these are. Are these, these aren't, I don't know if these are like a broken, I mean, obviously they're broken, but if those could be the coats. What else? Where? Oh my, wait, but like, look at this. <laughs> the boots. <laughs> the thigh-high boots are great. She could be Invisigirl. No, not perfect. <laughs> okay. I kind of like the red dress with the black. I'm going to add this to her inventory. Oh, we do have some of these going on. This is fun, too. <laughs> Are we in the desert, though? It doesn't matter. It's fashion. <laughs> it's fashion. You know, not your best butt spot. Butt spot's been a little bit off this week. This this stream. The streets are saying she's a new woman. Hmm. Oh, she can go goth. Her goth era. She could be a very professional lady, though. Professional girly. They do have this one too, that's fun, but I don't think that's the look. I don't think that's it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Every town needs a fashion icon. She prefers fashion over function. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's been spitting fire <laughs> with my messages though, true. <laughs> He's, I don't know, butt spot is very hit or miss sometimes. Oh, oh no. I think that shows some inappropriate things. I don't know what's happening with that one. I don't know what's happening with that one. <laughs> Thank you for the Lord Cursive. <laughs> the nudie dress. These are also fun too. Ooh, look at this little moment. I think she needs something that's black though. Either black or red. Like that's her thing, I think. Ooh, look at this little outfit. <laughs> she's, she's, I, lo I love the concept of her walking out of her, her trailer at the mobile home park. Wearing this. <laughs> Walking through the dirt of Calicundia in these heels. <laughs> She's living her fantasy. Miss Calicundia. Because <laughs> that's what she serves. <laughs> he either bullies us or serves. True. True. Hmm. I think it might be the thigh-high boots. I think that might be it. What are these? Wait, what's this? Eh. I like the concept of the gown, but I don't know if that's really the right look for her. <laughs> when the world needed a sleigh, she delivered. <laughs> there you go. 
Yeah, I think it might be those boots. I think I'm gonna. It doesn't look like I can. I can buy her the coat for outerwear, though. I'm gonna get her the coat for outerwear. Look at this. Look at the back. Oh my. Look at her. <laughs> look at her. And then, uh, buy clothes, outerwear. She knows what the people want. Here we go. Yeah, she can have a fancy. Oh, mm, those aren't quite. Those don't have the heels on them. Here they are. All black. I feel like it's all black as hers. Get the fur coat. Oh, we also have this one apparently. This was also her outerwear. That was the other one. We'll give her the fur coat with the boots. There you go. I wish I could have that as every day, but it doesn't. I don't see it showed up. If I was. <laughs> has no fans we all we're all dead <laughs> if nut nut has no fans we all dead <laughs> the sweat is worth the look <laughs> okay and then change appearance i just realized i think she wears the same um eyeshadow as a dreamer does because they, both of them it's the only thing that will show up on their faces should she should she have a, a different a little red you can get a little bit of the red over the top of the the eye there oh my oh my oh my i don't i don't think anything else shows up well i guess it shows like down here the bright <laughs> i kind of like her red lipstick as is I don't think that she doesn't have any eyeliner on. How does the okay, the eyeliner does technically show. Oh my. <laughs> I gotta like that one. It like overlines up here too. <laughs> Sharing makeup, yeah. Is Nut Nut the fashion line? True. Iris kind of gives tank girl vibes. <laughs> I think I, I know the reference on that one. Should she have What's, what color wig would she have, though? What if she wears, like, a red wig? What if she decides to be a redhead? Or a blondie? Is she gonna... Maybe she also goes blonde. Maybe that's why... Maybe that's why Dreamer is blonde, because her mommy's blonde. Oh, my. The Brid Bridget Bardo who? <laughs> Bridget Bardo who? <laughs> that one kind of... Oh, I like that these ones... <laughs> Yeah, the red. Do you think the red? Ooh. Actually does look good in red. <laughs> I don't love that I like that it clips into her little eye. Her big eye. <laughs> Is blonde... Okay, we've got one for red and one for blonde. I don't know. I do like both. Hmm. Let me find, like, the hair, and then we can look at it. Oh. <laughs> I feel like she needs something big. She needs big hair. Oh, wait. Look at this one. Wait, go back. Uh-oh, wait. Oh, no. Not that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Icon. <laughs> Is there a custom one with both? I don't know. There might... Actually, that's true. There might be a... <laughs> She's giving us Lana Del Rey. <laughs> Let's see. We've got a little... Ooh, look at this. Oh, no. It cuts into her cheeks. <laughs> cuts into her cheeks. Yeah, there might be some with like the oh there is this moment Ooh, wait look at this one look at her <laughs> hmm i thought there was some like red and blonde stuff going on in here somewhere more somewhere That's that's literally Dreamer's wig. <laughs> that's the wig that Dreamer is using. <laughs> Step aside, TikTok influencers. <laughs> Wait, Iris needs her own TikTok account. <laughs> Just post Iris Iris videos. Just her doing stuff. Oh my! It's like when people have Instagram accounts for their pets. <laughs> Just the Iris account. Just her doing like fashion model shoots. Oh no. I don't think any of these are really it. Oh, we do have the half and half. Half and half's kind of fun. That's kind of sleek. That's kind of sleek and fun. 
behind the ear moment. A life in the day of a single iris. <laughs> I think, I don't know, that might work. I think that one might work. I don't know if I love, I don't know. That one's got, it's, it's like platinum blonde. That's fun. <laughs> we'll try that. We gotta see what it looks like in IRL. Look at her! Oh, look at her! Wait, Cruella, Cruella de Vil? Cruella de Vil? <laughs> I can't tell if you like something or if you hate it when you say ew. <laughs> Ewie. <laughs> Behind the ear one. Yeah, I like it. Look at her. She looks great. Go see up. Uh, changing it every day. Oh, yeah. Look at her. <laughs> I love her. She's great. See, now I'm questioning, though. See, now I'm questioning. I don't know. How do we feel about the red dress with the orange hair? Like, is that okay? Or because there's a full black version of this dress. But look at her doing her little foot. She's doing little dance. I think we're okay. I think it's okay. Okay, you want to do homework. How about you do homework? Iris, I need you to clean these up a little bit. You know, they got a they got a hot mommy. Everybody in town is gonna be like, Dreamer's mom has got it going on, you know? Uh oh, I'm sorry, your internet keeps dropping, Kara. That's annoying. Left no crumbs. <laughs> Left no crumbs. <laughs> she's my favorite person in the hood. She's the diva. Yeah, she's great. She's I'm really happy. You know, she was just a townie for a while. You know, she was just meant to be a townie, a walk by. And she ended up joining Murphy's household. And I'm really glad she did because she's she's really something. She's really something. <laughs> okay, what are you? You don't want any homework. You just want to adopt pets. I don't know what I don't know what to do with you. I really don't think we need a pet in this house. I really don't. What is she? She wants to throw a party. Are we gonna have a party in this chaos? How do we have a party in this house? How does that happen? <laughs> her thumbnail's kind of a... She's got like a little weird look. It's because like her head's bent a little. She is the party. I don't think there's a phone in this house. I just realized. Unless I'm missing it. I don't think that there is. I gotta put one... I might just get rid of this. Because honestly, I don't know if that's going to happen in the chaos of this house. The chaos that I'm anticipating in this house. Um. Oops. Let me do that. Throw party. Building party. We could throw a building party and get, get to know all our folks. Because that doesn't that... A building party happens, like, outside, right? I think that's... I don't think it come... They come to our house. I think they hang out in the outside area. I think, I think. Which, we have a whole place out here to play. Swing. Uh, join play on playground. Let's just go go outside and play in the dark. Go out in the dark and play, kids. Get out of mommy's hair. <laughs> We're like buildings party. Yes, true. True, true. We invited all your neighbors to a building party. Okay, so that means they're gonna like all come out here. I'd actually like her maybe to grill hot dogs. We'll have some food out here. It's just Lucia and the kids. A couple of folks out here. <laughs> Hi, Nalu. Hello, hello. Outside on the terrain. <laughs> That's true. She's always been hot, and even now she's a rock star. Yes. Oh, did she fall on her butt? Poor dreamer. She's just trying her best. Oh, our party's a snoozer. She wants to influence someone to talk to another sim. Influence someone to entertain another Sam. That's fun. I'd love for them to get, be able to get their own house eventually. Like, they'd have to save up for it or whatever. Oh god, we got another fight happening. This is gonna hurt our party. The neighbors are fighting. The girlies, please. Let's, let's, we could influence somebody here to do something. <laughs> oh, I was packing and lurking. Okay, very nice. Hope you got some stuff done. Uh oh. Oh, he's. I think. Is he aging up or is he very upset? He's aging up, right? Look at this face. <laughs> wow. 
He's just Iris's kids are just it. Every, like all of Iris's kids have been just it. <laughs> you know, like I think he's supposed to age up. He's not. I think he's just ha he's f his bar is full. Is it because he's so upset? Uh oh, this one's really upset too. Iris, you gotta get in here and give this one a bottle. Get a bottle for BJ. Okay, uh oh. <laughs> is BJ coming to watch her her brother age up? <laughs> I think are we having a, like a stuck aging party? Oh there we go. <laughs> Say what you will about them. You'll never forget them if they walk past you on the street. <laughs> exactly. Did the face get any different? He's still very inverted. He's still very inverted. The lips are fun. Like his little lips are kind of fun. Oh, oh, he's. F oh, look at the, the the way the stink slowly emanates from him. <laughs> Looks like a bowling ball fell on him. He's practically a supermodel. I know. He also has a situation of like the eye flaps falling in. I don't mind his little outfit. I would like to maybe give him some shoes. He also wants pets. What's with the pets, y'all? What's with the pets? Yeah, let's just plan every day. Let's see what we have in his planable wear. Do we have any options? Ooh, we do. Look at this rocket ship. Um, we'll give him- these are like the same pants he had, but with shoes. We'll give him that. And then Gussie up plan. Let's just see what his pajamas are. I'm surprised he can smell anything. Hateful. Wait. Wait, I like the concept that he just takes off his shoes. This is his same shirt and almost the same pants. <laughs> I like the concept he just takes off his sneakers and goes to bed in what he was wearing. Wait, he's gonna, he's gonna keep them. <laughs> there he goes. Oh god. He needs to take a shower, but they're in here. Okay. Can you put this out? She's gonna put it down out here, I think. You can just be like me for real. Go here. You... You need to go here. We're gonna, we're gonna micromanage our, our creatures. God, it's always a jump scare whenever I tell BJ to do anything. And then you take a shower. There we go. She's headed out. There we go. Okay. Oh, no. Crawl here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> a baby face. Yes, there's a baby face. I can't wait till she ages. I really can't. I hope that she- I hope that her face grows into the face. Like, imagine if when she ages it- it spreads into the face. I really hope. No, don't- Okay, stop. Just stop. What are you trying to do? Hold, youngster. Come out here and have your party. Your party sucks. Your party sucks. Um, can we influence to entertain- Aurora, sure. Just go for it. Just go do something that you want to do. <laughs> go do something you want to do. I think the pets wants are a summer thing because the game focuses on family rated stuff. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. I didn't realize that. Listen, I remember the time or two we'd go. I'd go to bed in my clothes for the next day to save time. I could. I could see that definitely. What is? Why are we? Why am I getting a pop up? Okay. What? What are we doing? It's because the baby- did she not drink? Okay, there she goes. She's finally drinking. I'm afraid she's gonna, like, die. God, can you imagine if BJ dies or something? Oh no, this household is too small for five sims. <laughs> this house is too small for five sims. I don't even know where, where BJ's gonna sleep. How am I making this happen? I guess I could do... How am I gonna do this? To do this. Get rid of that. We'll have to do an above headlight. Quite a nut to see. <laughs> Quite a nut to see. Um, they got more romance. Yes, I've seen that. That they want more romance in spring. Doesn't fall like skills. Is that true? I I nut nutgly remember her actually. Quite a nut to see. <laughs> yes, I can imagine. I hope. It makes me hopeful. <laughs> oh gosh, I guess we'll do... Yeah, we'll do this and then they'll all be able to be... I wish that... 
can I get away with? Actually, I can get away with this one here, can't I? If I face it this way, they'll get up this way, right? Well, technically it'd work. That feels a little more open. Put like that there. Chil ch children's barracks, yes. Let's contain the beast. There we go. There we go. That, that technically will work. And then the beast will just sleep in here with mommy. Do you think if do you think if I were to put if I were to delete this? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. If I were to put two of those showers, just do these showers kind of like let Sims just take a shower without caring who's around? Does that happen? Or is that not it? Or is that just like in dorms? That they don't care. Oh. Oh wait. Uh-oh, I'm trying to select Blizzardina. <laughs> oh, my actual barracks. I'll show you my nut if you show me yours first. <laughs> Not this. <laughs> Not this. Pause? <laughs> I spit out my coffee at that. Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of which, my coffee's actually still a little warm. Surprisingly. I agree. The toddler is playing in the toilets is so stupid. I wish I could remove it entirely, but also, like, I like the concept of it. Our potty's a snoozer, by the way, too. Oh well. Iris is still an icon. She wants to pull a prank. Thank you. <laughs> you like the SpongeBob? Room. That's my. That's my. I'm eating face. Stop eating shit. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> Why didn't? Oh, yeah. Why didn't we save? We just forgot about the party. Yeah, nobody really came out too much. Yeah, I have a mod that makes it less attractive for them, but I think it still lets them do it at low aspiration. And my toddlers are constantly low aspiration because I'm bad at playing the video game. <laughs> so. The neighbor's neighbors just couldn't handle Iris. They're jealous. They're jealous of her. They're jealous. Oh, she's tired. I don't want you to sleep in this bed, girly. I need you to- actually, we really like you to do your homework. And then sleep. Hey, okay, little Winko's here. I'm excited for- I'm excited for BJ to age up. Maybe next time we play, we could force age her up. I don't think I want to do it yet. Uh-oh, what? Muhammad, can I help you? We greet the- why is Muhammad visiting? I was talking to, about the baby, not you. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> I was like, dang, I, I like my Fritos, man. What the heck? <laughs> um, we, uh, yeah, we just forgot about the party. The other day, we just couldn't handle Iris' beauty. She's jealous. My toddlers are constantly at a low aspiration because my sims never want to teach them stuff. Yeah, I know. Even, yeah, I have a hard time with it. And then I have a hard time balancing getting my parents aspiration up thank you for the follow yes maybe <laughs> welcome in i think i need to turn down some of the sounds of the alerts this this one seems loud too um but like balancing having my my parents aspiration up so that they can make the special bottles to help teach the kids fast the, the toddlers fast so that they can keep their aspirations up it's like i, I just cannot i just cannot 
Oh, I, I bat box my tellers, make them smart. That's true. That's a good idea. And teach them ASAP. I need to do that. I should probably... Why don't we... Let's do that. That's a good idea. I always... Just sometimes... I don't know. I don't always... I just... I don't know why. I just don't... Sometimes I like cheating, and sometimes I like to... Play with the flow. Meanwhile, me, I will nut your motives to nut all the taller skills in one nut. <laughs> that was a fun one. Triple nut. <laughs> Triple nut. I should just start doing it so family and knowledge sims will mostly teach all skills, even without wanting it. Yeah. yeah I guess, yeah. T t family and knowledge sims are, I could see them being the ones that need to focus on it. Like, Iris is a family, I mean, a romance sim. But, you know, so here's another thing that's interesting is um, there's one sim that I chose to change their aspiration when I was going through and editing their going through and editing the Wikipedia because in its um, it's Diego, who is the boyfriend to wisdom. And I decided and we've talked about this before. I decided that Diego went through so much trauma being with wisdom and having a terrible relationship with her and getting forced into her cult and then he ran away and escaped in the dark of the night and forcibly made a plant sim before when he joined the cult and all of this i decided that he went he was a romance sim i decided to change his aspiration from romance to pleasure because i feel like he's done like trying to have girlfriends and stuff now because of all of his terrible experiences you know so i decided that that like his life changed his aspiration and that would also be something interesting with iris like, what if she were to stop being a romance sim for some reason and be something else? Like, she's, she got, she got, uh, burned with Mervy, and now she's like, I'm going to be a something else sim. I don't know. Not necessarily something I'm going to do right now, but that could be interesting. You know, sims like that, that have things happen where they, she's starting a new life, a new her. Let's see. Well, she's <laughs> here. I'm going to make her happy. I'm going to make this sim happy. Um, let's see. How to make me smart. The most alpha male of them all. I think that's fair. Sometimes you don't want a sim to be Don Lothar as their hill. Yeah, like, I feel like they could outgrow that or, like, their life can change them. Yeah, like, it sounds a little bit more realistic for that. That they could alter at certain points. That things could cause them. Some sims don't. But some do, like something happens that changes them. <laughs> the most alpha male of them all. Okay. I'm gonna try and teach BJ skills. So did I so I made smart. So is she supposed to glow? Did it work? Okay, it worked. Okay. Cause the other option was make me stupid. So let's teach her to walk. And then we could also potty train. We could officially potty train. Maybe that's what I need to do, is just be more cheaty with my toddler skills so that they're less annoying. Right, maybe that's the move. Are BJ's... Oh, BJ's are all mommy-related. <laughs> BJ has mommy issues. That's okay. We'll, we'll, uh... Be tickled. We can do that, too. But we'll, we'll teach some skills, just because. Let Iris go at it. Does Iris have to work... Yeah, she has to work at 10 p.m. It's well, okay, so tomorrow. And she didn't have to work last night, so Thursday. That's also fun. I rarely do it because at that point I'm like, I don't know that it makes sense for them, you know? <laughs> mommy, please love me. <laughs> please, please give me attention, mommy. But yeah, that's that's kind of what I what I did for Diego. Um, but yeah. But I also like Iris still being- because I feel like part of Iris's personality is that she's like a, a hot romance sim. Like, she's gonna be having all kinds of partners. I feel like she's learned how- th the importance of birth control at this point in her life. Like, I think that could be a thing. Like, I could also do that because I don't think I have. Like, I feel like she's done having babies. You know? After this monstrosity came out, I think she said, that- that hurt. I think I'm done. <laughs> You know? Never spawn adjuster. Then I could do sim settings. Uh, birth control on. I think I'll do that. Oops. I'll just put that over there for now. 
Uh, like a little flower. Okay, I think she's learning pretty quick. Let her just go at it. Uh oh. Wait, did she did she learn? Did she not learn? Oh, she did. Okay, cool. Um, why don't we do snuggle? Um, we'll do like a snuggle, and then that'll maybe she'll roll another want for learning. <laughs> she's done enough popping for a century. Yeah, she's got four. I think that's more than enough, especially for a romance sim. You know. We also didn't. The other, of course, the other side of that too is giving her a secondary. Like, what if she got secondary family? Now that, because of the way she's like, I'm thinking about the way that she's like decided to. She felt bad about giving away her kids and being irresponsible. Um. So you know that could be. That that could be something too. Also, yeah, it can fail. Is it? There's a small percentage where it fails, which I like that too. That's a fun, toss up. Let me give her all of these. I think I'm gonna give her secondary family. Like she cares about her her kids now. You know, she's a mommy now. She's a hot mommy. Okay, so she we got that. What is what else does she want? Okay, now she okay yeah. See now we got talk and potty train. Each BJ to talk. Yeah, that's true. She does have the she does have the flirty. God, she's got sixty six k. Yeah, so she's got flirty. She's also it's interesting though. She's also mean spirited. That doesn't feel correct for how she's developed. But like, what does that mean for her? Mean spirited, you know? Because she's not, you know. Maybe could that have changed? Over time. <laughs> Phrases that only make sense in Sims context, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> that is, that's true. That's another one of those things. <laughs> look at the little... Look at this. I never paid attention to this little thing. Look at that blinker. Look at that thing going. Maybe she was. Yeah, she used to be mean because she was insecure or something. But now she loves herself. She's so nice. Yeah. Blink, blink. Maybe she... What other, like, what's the, what's her improvement? What if it's just D.Va? She goes from mean-spirited insecure to D.Va. I kind of like that. <laughs> She's a D.Va. She's, she should be, a, she should have D.Va traits. She literally is. I don't know if any others would work for her. I mean, I'm sure there's others that we could use too. But I feel like that might be it. <laughs> We can do that. We can delete her mean-spirited. And give her diva. The only thing is it shows up at the end. I might delete some of these things just to give her some money. I love this, but we're gonna have to just hold off on it for now. We have her cell phone. Okay. Oh, we also have a picture of her and Mervy. See, so yeah, sometimes I'm afraid to put these on the wall because I'm afraid I'm gonna forget it when I move. You know? I'm afraid she's gonna forget it. I think I'm gonna keep it in her inventory. But I am gonna- we're gonna- we do have a kitty condo. Should they have a goddamn cat? Everybody in this household wants a goddamn cat. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oops. Uh-oh, the, the cookies fell on the floor. You know what? The cookies are done. The cookies are over. Herb, yes. I keep calling him Mervy. I keep calling him Mervy. Yeah, she stole a bunch of stuff from from Per from Mervy. She also stole his alien, which we gotta put on the couch. I think I'm gonna keep him in her inventory. Safekeeping. There we go. That way her traits are now organized. Oops, I forgot to put her cell phone back in. Hello? Oh whoops. Whoa, what? I just had a glitch happen. Wait. The alien in the this came back and now I have two uh now I have two cell phones? Sorry? I'm hacking the Sims? I'm hacking the Sims? Okay. 
That was weird. I had it all cleaned and empty. <laughs> Diving for the cookies like animals. Diving for the cookies like... And nut tolls. And nut tolls. Infinite money glitch. Wait, let me just... <laughs> the curiosity. Nope, okay. But still reorganize this. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> oh, gotta go to my university lecture. Yeah, thank you for hanging out. We probably won't go much longer. It's actually at the five hour mark. Actually, which is probably... I might play for a little bit longer. I don't know if I, f I feel like watching a machinima tonight. I kind of feel like just chilling and playing a little bit and then being done. We did, we did a lot today. I'd like to, we're going to try and get the toddler skills taken care of. We'll focus on that. I love this household. I'm really excited to play them. I kind of want to play them for seven days. <laughs> I kind of want to play them for seven days. Not for, not, not tonight, but, you know. Okay, and she learned that. Okay, cool. Um, can we get her to, like, use the potty? Ooh, we might be able to. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Duh. I, okay. <laughs> oh, I feel adequately inspired to try to make some Pleasant View trailers after seeing this lot. Yeah, this is... I'm really happy with how this one turned out. There's a lot of green. I feel like I go to green a lot when I decorate stuff. Ugh, Lizardina, you're not supposed to be in there, but whatever. Um, yeah, I really like how this lot turned out. I love, I'm, I really like this flooring. It's custom, though. I think it's, um, I think it's from some of the AC&H stuff. Yeah, it's by Mad Rain again. Um, Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's converted from AC&H. It's a really nice wood floor. Okay, she's going potty. She wants to sleep with mommy. We'll have to test and see if mommy can walk this way. I love her wig. She's great. I love her. I love Iris so much. She's one of my current favorites, I think. Mommy, I had a nightmare. Can I sleep with you? Exactly. Exactly. She also wants to pull up Frank, which is interesting. <laughs> the nightmare was just BJ. <laughs> she just woke up to her little sister in the dark. Sitting in there playing with her toys in the dark. Very nice. Okay. She hasn't learned yet, but... Okay. It is 5 a.m. They've been awake all night. You want to serve some breakfast? Oh, Winko. Winko got right up at 6 a.m. He's ready to rock and roll. I love that. He cha He just he gets up and spins and just his shoes appear. <laughs> just his shoes appear. Oh, we also didn't do Winko's new traits. Um, the other thing that we could do, if we want to add a kitty to the household, which I didn't really want to, but I also think, like, it could be a fu Now that we are down a toddler, it might be easier to handle. Um, we could do the baby pet creator thing, where we combine. We combine, and we made some strays, so we have plenty of strays to make a creature from. That could be fun. Also need this. A little Winks. A little Winko Moldy. What did Winko get? Swiper! What a little gremlin! He's an evil neurotic thief. He's, he's, he's obsessed with stealing. Evil neurotic little thief. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay. Swiper no swiping. Okay, he wants a puppy. She wants kitten. But I think we're gonna do a cat. Let's create a kitten. Why not? Forget about it. Why not? <laughs> Little bastard man. <laughs> Little bastard man. Okay, okay. Look at our... This is our lineup. I think I want to use Frud. Frud horrors. I think we gotta do Frud. Let's see who we can cross Frud. Let's see. We could do. We could cross Frud with Meth. Or we could do. We could do Pasta or Weasel. Ooh, Pasta might be fun. <laughs> yeah, all the ears. We got Weasel and Worm. Worm is also Worm's got the. Worm has the no hair. I think. Worm got the wrinkles. Kind of like Worm. I don't know. 
I don't really want to do nest because I, I'm not crazy about the unnatural colors right now. I kind of want to do like a natural color kitty. Maybe pasta. Worm. You think worm? <laughs> we'll do worm. We'll do worm. Female. Okay. Her daddy's name was Frud. And her, and her mom, her mommy's name was, um, Worm. <laughs> My brain just broke. Or mommy or da Yeah, daddy would be Fred. Mommy's warm. Also, I just realized my chair had squished down, so I put my chair. Darling. We could do darling. A little cute little, like, kitty. Just like snowflake or darling or something. I'll do it. We'll do darling. <laughs> darling. Okay. Oh, it's a little orange kitty. Oh. Oh, my. Kind of a little gremlin. <laughs> it looks sad. I think it's just the, his face. Okay. What is little darling's personality? Doofus. Uh, and friendly and pig pen. Oh boy. Alright. How about we move this some way as elf? Like here. We're kind of just fighting for room in this house. Um, we'll leave this for now. We'll probably. Well, where else could I put it? Actually, I could put it here. And it was kind of in Dreamer's way here, but that's okay. And then we could have. They're gonna be. <laughs> the, the toddler and the cat are gonna be fighting for the bed. House is a loose word, true. It's it's a home. It's their home. Look at this little heart dish. I think we need the heart dish. I don't know what color though. The, the blue's kind of fun. Um, could also put like a little box bed. One of these little box beds. But it doesn't. The way it goes against the wall is annoying. Or like doesn't go against the wall. Do that. Um. Oh, we could do just like a fuzzy pink. Oh, that zoom out was quick. My my new mouse does real nice smooth zooming. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. What is this? Oh, it's also a pet dish. It's a, like a little pet dish. Huh. Um, I just like a little scratcher. Well, actually, we have the, we do have the the thing they jump up on, but we can do this. I think they'll be able to use that. There we go. Everybody playing, making noises. Um, and then yeah, okay, make friends with darling. Make friends with darling. Uh, yeah, I believe it's from Nonsensical Pixels. This this set here. I think most of the pet stuff I have is from Nonsensical Pixels, yeah. Nonsensical Pixels. Looks like it. I think even that- this bed, too. If that's what you mean, is that stuff. <laughs> I need me a new mouse. Yeah, it's nice. I, I- I like having a nice fresh mouse. A nice scroll on it. Who's out here? Oh. Mr. Muhammad. I also didn't know what Muhammad had to say. He came over to talk to us. Also, we gotta get the bills. We're like, it feels like a- oh, <gasps> Daddy! It's Daddy! <laughs> it's BJ's Daddy! He's coming on by! <laughs> it's, it's the face! Dada! <laughs> Look at him in the distance. Look at him. <laughs> He's perfect. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> the cryptid. The creature. I like this this in the bed, the broken Oh no, he's leaving. He he ran out of time. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm 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 late. Ma'am, please. Oh, I didn't realize this lights up green when there's that was green and then it went white. That's interesting. 
The scrum I scrum. The scrum I scrum. The bills. Now you have to walk all the way out there, Iris. I think we need to. We need like a little thing. Okay, the kids gotta go to school. Everybody's aspirations are great. I guess that everybody got their wish for having a kitten, so they're all happy. Okay, you gotta go. You gotta get out of the way, buddy. There we go. Oh. All right. I might be getting ready to end because I'm getting tired. Um, quick draw a red circle over him so we know it's him. <laughs> uh, where are you going, ma'am? Oh, gonna go look at the telescope. She's gonna go spy on people. Go spy on her neighbors. Oh, let's see what she's thinking of. Who are you spying on, girly? You got her one big eye in the in the thing. Her one big eye. Nobody? Do we get a nobody? Doesn't seem like she's thinking of anybody in particular. Okay. <laughs> Blobbert walked by my house, not clickbait. Iris is gonna be an influencer. Wait, can we start a blog? Why can't I click on this? There we go. Can you do can you do blogs? Can you blog about stuff? Order photos. Wait, what do we have any photos to order? I don't think we have any photos to order. I'm pretty sure. Well, Potty is stealing our newspaper. What a jerk. And Muhammad's fighting with Mara out here. Our our guy that this is the guy that owns the trailer park. He's just like sitting here. He's obviously not one of us. Like look at him. He's not one of us. <laughs> I love the idea that this title comes from Iris as if Blobbert isn't the child of her kids. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, we don't I was hoping we'd have a surprise photo. Nope. Uh, email. Send and check. Invitation e-card? What is that? Invitation e-card? What does that mean? Email address book? Invite list? What is this? <laughs> I don't know what this is. Is this for a party? Are we sending Bigfoot an email? We could send it to Bigfoot and then, like, all of our, our baby daddies. <laughs> the party, okay. Interesting. I'm just gonna invite everybody here. Just, just girdle. There we go. <laughs> oh, she stole this bed. Is the kitty okay? Oh God, wait. <laughs> I, the, the baby has the last name of the parents. The parent cats. And so the parent cat's last name was Horrors. <laughs> Darling Horrors is <laughs> this baby's name. Darling Horrors. Because we named him the Horrors. <laughs> oh no. Alright, you're tick tackling on your little keyboard there, ma'am. How nice of you to invite me. Oh. <laughs> I should have. I like how. How nice of you to include me in your mailing list. I'll gussy up and come right on over. Always a pleasure to see you. I'll be right over. Always a pleasure to see you. I'll be right over. I'm sure you put a lot of efforts in this doing this e-card, and I'm not going to waste that time. It'll be over soon. Oh, I thought that was a no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, you know what? That's a present for us next time. That's a present for us on Saturday, because I'm going to forget, and they're all going to show up. Because <laughs> I think I'm going to end for tonight. <laughs> I think, I think. What's up over here? <laughs> we'll do this. Oh, where's my screen? There we go. Okay. I think I'm going to call it a night. <laughs> this was fun. Surprisingly chaotic for a building, a, a decorating stream. But yeah, <laughs> that was very fun. We'll be ready to play and the house will be flooded with Sims. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a chaotic. It was a chaotic adventure. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. Let me select on this. I saved game. Oops. Oh, we got a hanky. That's a hank. Somebody earlier asked who Hank is. I think I think it was Dreamy. I think Dreamy left. <laughs> That's a hank. Panky panky. But yeah, thank you guys very much for hanging out. I'll see you on Saturday. I'm also trying to get another YouTube video put together. Trying to do that. 
Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll be continuing Calicundia, too. But yeah, <laughs> thanks for hanging out. <laughs> thanks for hanging out. All right, we'll play some music. I'm going to replay this one. Uh-oh, we're going to add... No, okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to go. Thank you guys very much. Have a good night. Dream ending.